Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook, High Martial Arts Era, starting with a 100,000-fold increase in comprehension. Chapter 81 The two of them were so busy that they had to wait for the next few days. Ha! Huh. Guan Xiaoxiao was relieved to see that Zhang Yuan was fine, but she remembered her promise to wear a maid outfit, and her delicate white face instantly turned red. Yuanzi, Chen Hao cheered and rushed towards Zhang Yuan. Zhang Yuan turned his head and saw him, with a smile on his face, and the frightening momentum instantly dissipated like a breeze. Some girls almost stared straight at him and couldn't even stand steadily. What an innocent smile. Ah, I can't take it anymore, how can he be so handsome? He's handsome, strong, and the provincial champion of this year, I. I really don't know how happy it would be to be his girlfriend and have him protect her while killing monsters. Hey, why are you crying? No, nothing. A girl from class 3 wiped her tears. The other girls from class 3 also had wet eyes, tears of sadness. They regretted. Regret. You're amazing. Chen Hao punched Zhang Yuan excitedly, then covered his fist in pain. You, why are you so strong? Did you become Iron Man? Zhang Yuan laughed. How did you do in the exam? Don't mention it, I was eliminated in 10 minutes. Chen Hao waved his hand, then hugged Zhang Yuan excitedly. But I have a brother who is the top scholar in the province. Even if I go to deliver pigs, I can brag about it for the rest of my life. Ha ha ha. Principal Lu He came over, ahem. Chen Hao reacted and quickly let go of his hand. Lu He came in front of Zhang Yuan, showing a kind smile on his face, and was about to speak. A middle-aged man with flat white hair came forward and said with a smile, Student Zhang Yuan, my name is Fu Chang, I am a teacher at Wenming University, a seventh-level mind master, your spiritual realm has been developed to a very high level, and our Wenming University is undoubtedly the most suitable for you. Now I sincerely invite you to join our Wenming University, I can promise you the highest scholarship of 30 million per year and the highest degree of resource allocation. Our Kunlun University can offer 50 million scholarships, plus 50 million resource subsidies and build a gold level suit for you. The female teacher of Kunlun University said anxiously. The whole audience was in an uproar. Gold level suits are nothing. As long as you come to our Xinghai University, we will immediately give you 50 million and a villa on campus, plus 100 blood crystals and 50 high level potions as your admission rewards. In addition, you can also get a resource subsidy worth 100 million per year and a dark gold equipment suitable for you. Xinghai University made a move, which made the whole audience noisy. The whole audience was silent, whether it was students or ordinary teachers, they all opened their mouths and stared in amazement. Rich, it's really too generous. Is this the treatment of the provincial champion? Someone murmured. Woo 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 woo. Some students cried loudly, why not me? At this moment, watching the big man who was out of their reach licking his face and competing for Zhang Yuan. The girls in class 3 finally couldn't hold it back, and they all shed tears of sadness and regret. Especially Lu Hong, who once liked Zhang Yuan, but gave up confessing because she saw him awaken a low-level talent, and instead mocked and ridiculed Zhang Yuan. At this moment, she regretted it so much that her intestines turned green. Looking at her boyfriend who was eliminated after only lasting 20 minutes, tears of regret burst out of her eyes and flowed like a river. Why am I so stupid, why am I so stupid, Wu? Tu Tian, the president of the Silver Wolf Guild, had a cold face. These universities are really rich and powerful. It seems that his plan to attract the provincial champion to join the team is hopeless. Suddenly, he glanced at the Bloody Rose logo on Zhang Yuan's clothes and his eyes widened. Then, that is, Bloody Rose. How is he related to Bloody Rose? A charming and charming red-haired figure appeared in his mind, and he was both surprised and suspicious. Could it be that Ji Feiyue that woman has already made her move? Everyone, let's wait for the final notice from the Education Bureau before we talk about choosing a school. Respect Zhang Yuan's wishes at that time. Principal Lu He squeezed through a few people and stood in front of Zhang Yuan. I think Zhang Yuan should be tired now, so let's stop here today and let him go back first. The words were not finished yet. Lu Bili looked up. A blue light figure formed by data appeared in the sky. Seeing him, Lu Bili's expression immediately became solemn, and he saluted and said, Director Bai. Quote, Lu He and others were surprised, and they immediately saluted and said respectfully. 
Hello, Director Bai. Yes, the blue light figure in the air nodded, with a pressure like a mountain and an aura like the sea, and the terrifying momentum exuded made people's hair stand on end. The students whispered, Director Bai, could it be the Director of Education in Zhang Province? Hiss, such a big shot would come in person. The live broadcast room of Moyu was also in an uproar at this moment. Oh my, even this guy is here. This is a real big shot, with a very high status, second only to the ten ministers. Hasn't he shown up for a long time? How could it be? Zhang Yuan looked at him and thought to himself, it seems that the matter is over. Quote. He looked down at the relic in his hand. Zhang Yuan put it into the system warehouse without leaving any trace. Bai Huang saw this scene, and his eyes twitched. This kid actually blatantly took the things for himself. Do you really think I can't see it? Ahem. Covered in blue light, he coughed. The live broadcast room screen was agitated, and Bai Huang's face was covered by blue data, and it also appeared on the screens of thousands of households. Controlling data for his own use at will, this is Bai Huang's talent. Under the gaze of everyone, Bai Huang said, some unexpected events occurred in this college entrance examination, but fortunately it ended without any danger. The candidates' scores are based on the points ranking. In addition, this year's undergraduate admission line of Wuhan University will be announced on the website of the Education Bureau three days later. Quote. He looked at Zhang Yuan and Lin Qingyun below. Here, I congratulate Zhang Yuan, a student from Nanjiang Wudao No. 1 Middle School, for becoming the top scorer in this year's college entrance examination in Zhang Province, and at the same time, with the highest score of 1323, he became the top scorer in the country this year. Instantly, everyone's eyes were focused on Zhang Yuan. After a dead silence, Zhang Yiming was like a drunk, his legs weak with excitement, I, our class actually produced a top scorer in the country, this, this. Lao Zhang, congratulations. The teacher next to him was so jealous, and the other teachers were also full of envy and jealousy. Don't be too excited, take care of yourself. You can brag about this for the rest of your life. I didn't expect that after 30 years, our Nanjiang number. One middle school can still produce a top scorer in the country. Quote. Lu He, with a big smile on his face, took the lead in clapping and applauding, sincerely congratulating Zhang Yuan. Others also applauded, and the applause resounded like thunder through the world. Pa 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 pa. Chen Hao's face flushed with excitement, and he clapped desperately. The other students also applauded sincerely. The gap was too big, and they couldn't even feel envy or jealousy. They could only admire and respect him. The top scholar in the country, I can't even imagine it. It's been many years since our Zhang province has produced a top scholar in the country. Oh my god, Zhang Yuan is so amazing. What Zhang Yuan? Call me God Zhang. Lin Qingyun looked at Zhang Yuan and said with a fake smile, Congratulations, you've become the top scholar in the country. You don't seem to be sincerely wishing you well. Sincerity is bullshit. If it weren't for you, this would have belonged to me. Just be happy that you got the first place. Lin Qingyun sneered. If you don't accept it, we can fight again next time. Zhang Yuan said with a smile. Lin Qingyun's tone was blocked. Why, you think you will lose, are you afraid? Lin Qingyun was angry, would I be afraid of you? Fight, who is afraid of who? Guan Xiaoxiao, who wanted to come over to congratulate Zhang Yuan, stopped when she saw this scene. In her vision, the handsome boy who became the focus of the audience and no longer unknown stood with the beautiful school beauty. The picture was so harmonious and brilliant. There was some inexplicable sadness in the girl's eyes. After the applause of the audience fell, Bai Huang's finger fell, and a treasure chest wrapped in golden light fell in front of Zhang Yuan. This is the reward for the national champion. I hope you will continue to work hard, temper yourself with perseverance, and one day, become a pillar of the human race who can protect thousands of people. Quote. Zhang Yuan reached out to catch the treasure chest, but had no time to check it. Bai Huang added. In addition, in this King Realm Abyss Lord Invasion Dungeon event, Zhang Yuan, Lin Qingyun, Luo Shi, and Pei Kongyun abandoned competition, united as one, and saved Zhang province from the danger of abyss invasion. The four of them will be rewarded with an additional 30 million in cash, 10 high-level tonics, 10 high-level scrolls, and a combat-ready shuttle. Quote. The whole place was dead silent. 
The reward was not jaw-dropping. It was not the generosity of the reward that was jaw-dropping. But by Huang's words, everyone present was stunned. They were stunned, as if struck by lightning. That's all I have to say. As for the extra reward, someone will deliver it to your home later. Before Bai Huang left, he left a message in Zhang Yuan's ear. Keep the relics safe and don't lose them. Zhang Yuan was delighted. The relics could be given to them as rewards, so it seemed that what they did this time was more important than they thought. Lin Qingyun saw it more clearly than he did. The relics were indeed important and precious, but they were just a resource. Leaving the relics in their hands only meant one thing. They have entered the site of Daxia's top leaders, and have been recognized as important talents who can shoulder Daxia's future. I, what did I hear? The King Realm Abyss Lord invaded the dungeon world. The four saved Zhang province. Did I hear it right? Some students swallowed their saliva. Teachers such as Zhang Yiming were also shocked, staring blankly at Zhang Yuan and Lin Qingyun. Could the movement just now be caused by the abyss invading the dungeon world? The teacher of Kunlun University muttered to himself. Liu Bili thought for a moment and said, thanks to the modern education system, Daxia Tianzhao has emerged in an endless stream in recent decades, making the number of our Daxia's new generation of strong people far exceed that of the Federation and the countries. The abyss should also feel threatened, so it wants to attack our young generation of candidates. I remember that there have been several similar incidents in the past, but after learning from the lessons, the defense of the dungeon world has been strengthened, and it should not be so easy to be invaded. Lu He thought. Zhang Yuan, but it did happen. We also believe this is true. After all, it was said by Director Bai, so it can't be wrong. We are just a little confused. As Lu Ningyan said this, she couldn't help but ask Zhang Yuan. Student Zhang Yuan, what exactly happened in the dungeon? A fragrant breeze blew in his face. Zhang Yuan looked at the beautiful woman in front of him who looked 70% similar to Luo Shi. She had long curly purple hair, white skin, and beautiful looks. She looked only in her early 30s. She was wearing a green robe that outlined her perfect and enchanting figure, making her look even more charming and mature. Zhang Yuan couldn't help but think of several blood-boiling pictures in his mind. Seeing that he didn't speak, Luo Ningyan moved closer with curiosity and doubt. What's wrong? Zhang Yuan calmed down, looked up at the beautiful woman in front of him, and smiled, nothing. Luo Ningyan looked at his eyes without any distractions, and her heart was slightly shaken. It was the first time she saw such beautiful, clear, yet seemingly infinitely coercive pupils. The pupils were as clear as crystal, without any impurities, as if they were a mirror reflecting the firelight, the center of the fiery golden pupils was extremely deep, as if it contained a mysterious firelight that could absorb people's minds. Actually, Zhang Yuan was about to speak when he was interrupted by the principal Lu He. Let's talk about it in another place. Some things should not be made known to the public before they are announced. He looked at the dean of teaching next to him and said with majesty. The college entrance examination is over, dean of teaching, you take the teachers of each class to organize the students to go home. Ah, okay. Under the evacuation of a group of teachers and the muscular dean of teaching. The students left one after another. They were still in shock and had not recovered at this moment. Their brains were confused, and the words, Lord of the King Realm, Bai Ju, Save Zhang Province, and so on echoed in their heads. Everyone seemed drunk, their steps were weak, and they didn't even know how to leave the school. In the principal's office, student Zhang Yuan, this is the tea made from the Yangshan spirit spring that I treasure. Try it. Zhang Yuan took the teacup handed over by Principal Lu He with a smile and thanked him. Took a sip. Ding. Mental power plus one. It's really good stuff. Zhang Yuan's eyes lit up and he drank it all in one gulp. The vice principal next to him was envious. He had wanted to drink this for a long time, but was always rejected by the stingy principal. It tastes good, right? If you like it, I'll give you another jar later. Lu He smiled like a flower. Thank you, principal. What's there to thank for? It's just a treasure that's not worth mentioning. You have brought so much honor to our school this time, so I should thank you. The vice principal next to him. The principal's face darkened when he heard this, and he wished he could change his job to a cursor and draw a circle to curse the principal to be unlucky for life. 
Luo Ningyan kept observing the black-haired and golden-eyed boy in front of her. Some people say that eyes are a mirror that reflects the heart, but this statement is actually not accurate. To be precise, eyes are the gateway to the spiritual realm. For a spiritual-type martial artist, looking at each other is an excellent way to invade the other party's spiritual realm, so generally experienced martial artists will avoid seeing the eyes of the spiritual system in combat, otherwise they will not even know when they fall into hallucinations. As an 8th level spiritual type martial artist, the moment Luo Ningyan saw Zhang Yuan's eyes, she felt the unusualness of his spiritual attributes. Burning, deep, vast, condensed, indelible. Even her spiritual attributes are not so complicated. Luo Ningyan was more and more shocked by the power, and, mystery, of the boy in front of her. His spiritual realm is so strong and solid that it is outrageous, and the total amount of mental power even exceeds that of the general fourth-level spiritual profession. Abnormal, it's really too abnormal, Lu Bei said. Student Zhang Yuan, tell me what happened in the dungeon. Luo Ningyan put away her thoughts and looked at the boy seriously. Under the gaze of several people, Zhang Yuan simply told the story of Lin Junhao being polluted, absorbing fierce beasts in the dungeon world, and guiding the Abyss Lord. There is nothing to hide. Since Bai Huang chose to say it in public, it means that the Education Bureau will sooner or later reveal it to the public. It's a matter of time. Quote dot dot dot. That's what happened. After Zhang Yuan finished speaking, he drank another sip of tea. Lu He and others were so shocked that they couldn't speak. You, are you saying that you survived the attack of a king-level lord and killed his clone? Zhang Yuan nodded. Quote, Lu He and others looked dazed. Luo Ningyan opened her cherry lips slightly, her expression was shocked, but also with a hint of temptation. Even Lu Bili, who always looked indifferent, showed a moving expression at this moment. Even if there are restrictions on the rules of the dungeon world, it is a king-level lord who can easily destroy a city of millions of people. The teacher of Civilization University said blankly, It is already a miracle to survive from his hands. Killing his clone, this. It is really unimaginable. The vice president swallowed his saliva and looked at Zhang Yuan and asked, Zhang, Zhang classmate, what is your current level? LV-19, a 17-year-old quasi third-level transfer warrior. Everyone's heart was in turmoil again. Liu Bili's sharp eyes stared at him, you should, hide your talent and profession, right? Luo Ningyan and others stared at him. At this point, Zhang Yuan had no need to hide it, nor did he intend to hide it anymore. He looked at everyone and said frankly, it is true that what I awakened is not an E-level talent, but an SSS level talent. He raised a finger, and a wisp of black and red flame rose in the shocked eyes of everyone. This is my talent, the immortal phoenix flame. The first time, the second time. It's actually, SSS level. The admissions teacher of Xinghai University swallowed his saliva and looked at the flames in front of him in shock. Chi Chi Chi. The immortal flame burned the air, and the extremely high temperature of tens of millions of degrees condensed at one point, making the area look distorted. Lu Bili looked solemn and surprised. Luo Ningyan looked like she was looking at a treasure, her eyes shining. Lu He was even more excited. The admissions teachers of the four major colleges had fiery eyes. You have to know that SSS level talents are very rare even in the four top martial arts universities, and each one is a top genius that attracts much attention. It seems that we must show more sincerity. We must not let other schools snatch this kind of genius away. The four teachers thought to themselves. No one doubted Zhang Yuan's words. Just because the moment the flame appeared, the principal's office suddenly became like a sauna, the temperature rose rapidly, the air twisted in the high temperature, and some green plants withered quickly. Lu He and others had to release their strength to resist the uncomfortable high temperature. The vice principal couldn't help but release the frozen world to isolate himself from the high temperature, and then he felt a little more comfortable. A flame can have such power. It is definitely SSS level. And it's the kind at the top of the sequence. Lu He said excitedly. We haven't had a student with SSS level talent in Nanjong Wudao number. One middle school for many years. Ha ha ha. He looked at Zhang Yuan with more appreciation, as if he was looking at his sons and nephews, kind, hot, and full of expectations. SSS level talent plus national champion, anyone can understand what this means. 
as long as he doesn't die young, he will most likely be another northern king. The backbone of Daxia and even the future of mankind. As a principal, he is also honored to have cultivated such a talent. The vice principal sighed. It turns out that he has such a terrifying talent. No wonder he can rise all the way and crush his peers in a short time. No wonder. Bullshit. Principal Lu he retorted. If there is no accumulation over the years, even if he awakens the SSS level talent in one move, it is impossible to grow into the provincial champion or even the national champion in a short time. Then he looked at Zhang Yuan and smiled. Okay, classmate Zhang, put away your talent. Zhang Yuan dispersed the immortal phoenix flame. Lu he said with a smile. Heaven moves vigorously, and a gentleman should strive for self-improvement. In my opinion, Zhang Yuan's achievements today are the result of your hard work. Once you awaken your top talent, you also know how to hide your strength and bide your time, waiting for the day when you can ride the wind and become a dragon, rise all the way, and crush your peers as a dark horse. Good, very good. I really want to meet your parents and see how they educate such an excellent child. He bombarded Zhang Yuan with rainbow farts, and Zhang Yuan blushed a little. Lu He finally got back to the point. Since Zhang Yuan performed extremely well in the college entrance examination this time and brought glory to our school, I decided to award you the title of honorary alumnus and provide you with cultivation resources worth 30 million as a reward. Zhang Yuan's eyes lit up. There are rewards. No poking, no poking, no poking. At the same time, the news of the end of the college entrance examination was also spread to major media at the first time. Chen Hao's home. Dad, Mom, I'm back. Chen Hao jumped back home excitedly, did you watch the news? I tell you. Watch shit. Chen Hao's father scolded him angrily, you got zero points on the test and were eliminated in 10 minutes. You still have the nerve to be so happy. If I were you, I would just hit myself to death with a piece of tofu. What are you talking about? If you can't get into Wuhan University, it's good to be a veterinarian in the future. At least it's stable, Chen Hao's mother said. Son, what did you say just now? What news? Chen Hao he said mysteriously, it's my good brother Zhang Yuan. Guess how many points he got? Mother Chen Hao, I know that kid. He's a good kid. Father Chen Hao snorted coldly, how much can you achieve by being friends with this kid? I heard that he's an ordinary assassin. He can only get 10 points at most. The son of the neighbor Wang's family is a water mage. He only got 15 points. He's guaranteed to be in the second tier. Zhang Yuan got the first place in the country. First place, first place is not bad. Father Chen Hao nodded. Mother Chen Hao also echoed, very good. Three, seconds later, the two turned their heads together, their eyes widened. Wait, what did you say? Who got the first place in the country? Chen Hao said word by word. I said, my brother, Zhang Yuan, is the national champion this year. Chen Hao's father and mother were stunned. Guan Xiaoxiao's home. Xiao Xiao, how did you do in the exam? Guan Xiaoxiao's mother asked nervously. Guan's father also stared at Guan Xiaoxiao sitting on the sofa. She opened the Star Domain Network and browsed the news. She said casually, 55 points, ranked in the top 1,000 in the province, not bad. Guan's father and mother breathed a sigh of relief and smiled. You kid, you came back with a stern face. We thought you failed the exam. You did very well. I'll go make you something delicious and reward you now. Guan Xiaoxiao paused. Is this, okay? Guan's father, who was helping Guan's mother pick vegetables, turned his head and asked casually, by the way, how did Zhang Yuan do in the exam? Guan Xiaoxiao was silent for two seconds and said, he, dot did well. So he is in the top 10,000 in the province. Not bad, I was right about that boy. Not 10,000, he is, first. Guan Xiaoxiao said softly. First, oh, first in the class, he did better than you, so amazing. Guan's father was surprised. No, Guan Xiaoxiao hugged her knees and said slowly, he is, first in the country. Guan's father was stunned, and Guan's mother couldn't help but turn her head. Go to the sky, a dessert shop with a quiet environment. The squinting pink-haired female manager was smiling and making desserts behind the counter. Yan Runin and Mo Shishi were sitting in the window seats, with several plates of clean dishes in front of them. Oh, Yan Runin was browsing the system information and suddenly let out a surprised cry. 
Mo Shishi raised her head. Sister Yan, what's wrong? Yan Runin, whose eyes were covered with black satin, looked at her with a smile. The college entrance examination is over, and your brother's results are out. Brother Yuan, how did he do in the exam? Is he the first in the province? Mo Shishi asked expectantly. Yan Runin shook her head. Mo Shishi was a little disappointed. Alas, not the first. Forget it, anyway, according to his score, he must be in the top ten. It's just not as loud as the first place. Mo Shishi stuffed a big bite of cake into her mouth and asked curiously, who is the first? Yan Runin smiled and said, I didn't say your brother is not the first. I mean he is not the first in the province, but the first in the country. I really didn't make a mistake. She said proudly, satisfied with her own vision. With a clang, the fork in Mo Shishi's hand fell to the ground. The squinting pink-haired store manager turned his head to look. Mo Shishi stood up suddenly, slapped his hands on the table, and made an incredible sound. Number one in the country. The sky is full of clouds, and the sky is full of stars. Somewhere in a mysterious place. Surrounded by white clouds, it feels like being in the sky. Around a golden round table, there are ten seats with different inscriptions. Seven illusory and hazy figures sit on seven seats. In one of them, a woman wearing a robe can be vaguely seen, with gorgeous rays of light flowing around her body. Under the robe hat, the woman's snow-white and pointed chin is revealed, exuding a mysterious and noble temperament. It is the Yuanling who appeared in the copy world. Zizizizi. A blue data stream flashed by. Bai Huang's figure shrouded in blue light appeared. You are here, an old voice said. Bai Huang bowed his head and saluted. We have received a report on this incident. You are to blame for this negligence. Another figure said in a majestic male voice. Bai Huang said in a deep voice. Regarding this incident, it was indeed my negligence. I am willing to take all the responsibility. An old voice said. Forget it, considering that you responded properly and did not cause too many casualties, the merits and demerits offset each other, and I will not pursue it. This will not happen again. Bai Huang breathed a sigh of relief. Another black figure spoke up. Regarding the report about the four candidates teaming up to kill the Yin Lord's clone, I want to ask you again, right? Bai Huang nodded, yes. It's true. Yuan Ling spoke, his voice is clear as a bell, I can confirm this. Bai Huang said, the quality of this year's candidates is very high. The top two or three students are comparable to the provincial champions in previous years, especially the candidate named Zhang Yuan among the four candidates. He is also the national champion this year. I think he has the strength to kill the fourth level beast. But that is not enough to kill the Yin Lord's clone. What if we add relics? Relics, yes, in order to save their lives, I brought a few relics into the dungeon and lent them to them. Nonsense. How can dangerous things like relics be handed over to candidates? The majestic voice said sternly, take it back immediately. It's not that serious, Yuan Ling said to smooth things over, at least the result is good. The old voice said, top-level monsters can burst out unimaginable potential between life and death. If the effect of relics is triggered again, it may really cause a miracle. It is not impossible to kill the Yin Lord's clone. The remaining six figures looked at each other. A chubby figure smiled and said, Then let's believe it for the time being, Director Bai Huang, the aftermath of this matter will be left to you to deal with. Yes, I decided to announce part of the matter to the public. They have the right to know the truth. The efforts and contributions of the candidates should not be hidden in the dust. Bai Huang said. The old voice said, It's up to you, but I still have to warn you. In the past, some geniuses were praised too highly, and they became blindly arrogant and challenged some dangerous forbidden areas, and finally ended up miserably and tragically. Putting geniuses in the public spotlight too early may not be a good thing. A burly figure who had been silent said in a loud voice, He is good at killing enemies and defeating the strong with the weak, so he should come to the army. A lazy young man's voice sounded, that will only make you die faster, okay, how many geniuses have entered joined the army, and died in the crazy attack of the abyss monsters? Quote, Humph, a man with great ambitions to serve his country, died on the battlefield, died for a good cause. The young man ignored him, looked at Bai Huang, and said lazily. Also, I remind you that the Lord of Yin will never give up after suffering a big loss this time. In addition to the abyss believers who believe in him, 
the Church of Suffering and the Institute of Immortality will probably also target these candidates. Polluting and winning over genius monsters has always been their goal. Bai Huang was silent. Okay, today's 10 ministers meeting ends here. You go back. Before leaving the school, Lu He reminded Zhang Yuan several times to be careful. He was even worried and wanted the vice president to send him back. He was rejected by Zhang Yuan with a smile. This is too much. Besides, there is Commander Lu from the inspection department. Even the abyss believers would not dare to commit crimes in broad daylight. He looked at Lu Bili on the side. Lu Bili said calmly, that's not necessarily true. You never know what those crazy people who don't care about their lives will do, especially you. You have provoked an abyss lord and have been cursed by him. Now you have undoubtedly become their biggest target, the best. The solution is to not let them know your movements. Quote. Quote dot 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 quote. Just in case, Zhang Yuan, I'll take you back with me. Luo Ningyan invited him with a smile, with a purple shuttle above her head. Quote dot dot dot. That's troublesome. It was not the first time that Zhang Yuan took a shuttle, but it was also the first time he took such a luxurious shuttle. The operating table was controlled by a light computer, inlaid with a large number of crystals, and engraved with a large number of defensive arrays. The defense and speed were maxed out. The living facilities inside were all available, all of which were high-end custom-made. The air was filled with the aroma of high-end medicinal materials, which was extremely luxurious. Luo Shi slept very sweetly on the bed beside him. Zhang Yuan couldn't help but sigh. As expected of the president of the pharmacist association, he is really generous. I have set the address, and it will take about three minutes to get there. Luo Ningyan smiled and sat down next to Zhang Yuan, handing him a chilled nutritious juice, please have it. Thank you. Quote, my daughter Luo Shi must have received a lot of care from you in the dungeon, right? I know her strength very well. Ah, well, it's okay. Zhang Yuan really wanted to say that your daughter owed me 500 million yuan, and asked her to pay it back, but considering her status as an 8th level spiritual type warrior, he gave up the idea. Luo Ningyan looked at the handsome boy with black hair and golden eyes beside her, her eyes full of admiration. Classmate Zhang Yuan, what do you think of my daughter's ire? How about you become our son-in-law? Puff. The juice in Zhang Yuan's mouth sprayed out directly. Ha 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 ha, just kidding. Luo Ningyan smiled, stuck to his arm, and moved closer to Zhang Yuan, staring at his eyes with her charming purple eyes, and her pursed cherry lips were full of seductive luster. Such a big reaction, classmate Zhang Yuan, you haven't been in love yet, have you? Quote. Zhang Yuan's mind seemed to be sucked into her eyes, and countless charming scenes emerged in his mind but he soon found something wrong. Is this, charm skill? Seeing his eyes become clear, Luo Ningyan was stunned and surprised again. Her charm skill, even ordinary fifth-level transfer warriors can't detect it. This child actually, he is indeed extraordinary in terms of mental power. In this case, although the level is a bit low, he may be the best candidate to do that thing. President Luo, do you have something to tell me? Luo Ningyan came back to her senses and smiled. I want to ask you, do you want to join the Pharmacist Association? Pharmacist Association. Zhang Yuan was stunned. Don't you have to transfer to an auxiliary professional pharmacist to join? Quote. It is true that most of the members of the Pharmacist Association are pharmacists, but there are also some non-pharmacist members. Those who can join the Pharmacist Association as non-pharmacists are either the children of wealthy families with huge resources, or powerful guild members, or talented new stars with potential. It is impossible for ordinary job-changing warriors to receive an invitation. Quote. Being a member of the Pharmacist Association, in addition to being able to meet some upper-class people, you can also buy the required medicines at a lower price internally. Zhang Yuan was a little tempted, but still asked there should be no pie in the sky. If I join, what do I need to pay? High quality pharmaceutical materials. Luo Ningyan smiled, this is the bargaining chip that non-pharmacist members need to pay. The shuttle stopped, and the artificial light brain issued a voice. We have arrived at Bainhu community. Luo Ningyan showed a slightly regretful smile on her face, and smiled at Zhang Yuan, the time is too short, I still want to talk to you more, Zhang Yuan, it seems that too fast is not a good thing. Quote. 
You can go back and think about it, and reply to me next time we meet. Zhang Yuan nodded. By the way, Luo Ningyan summoned the attribute panel and said with a smile. Let's add a friend. After saying goodbye to Luo Ningyan, Zhang Yuan returned to his aunt's house. Before he entered the door, he could sense the presence of some powerful people nearby, who should be from the inspection department. It seemed that Yan Runin had indeed kept his promise to him and protected the safety of his aunt's family. He pushed the door open. Bang! The salute exploded, and the ribbons flew. Brother Yuan, Mo Shishi flew over and threw herself into Zhang Yuan's arms, shouting excitedly, how does it feel to be the top scholar in the country? Dao Yufeng and Mo Lingfeng looked at Zhang Yuan with smiles on their faces, holding colored sticks in their hands. Xiao Yuan, congratulations. We already know, Mo Lingfeng said with emotion, first place in the college entrance examination, I really dare not think about it. Your child is really too hardworking. Our family is really proud of our ancestors. Dao Yufeng had tears in her eyes and cried, if your parents knew, I don't know how happy they would be. Aunt, uncle, Zhang Yuan scratched his face, it doesn't need to be so grand, right? What nonsense are you talking about? This is the top scorer in the college entrance examination, the first in the country. If it weren't for Miss Yan's persuasion, I would have wanted to hang a banner to let everyone in the community know. Dao Yufeng said while wiping the corner of her eyes. Zhang Yuan looked at Yan Runin who walked out of his room, and his head was full of black lines. Why do you appear here as a matter of course? Didn't you ask me to help take care of your aunt's family? I am protecting them seriously. She said seriously, approached Zhang Yuan and whispered. We have made an appointment, you can't regret it. The top scorer in the college entrance examination. Okay, I promised you to join Shenwu University, isn't it enough? Great, the credits are in hand. Junior, call the senior sister to listen. Quote dot 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 quote. In the evening, the excited and happy aunt's family prepared a grand celebration ceremony for him, and the dishes were extremely rich. Yan Runin also participated. Uncle Mo Lingfeng took out the good wine that he had collected for ten years, and pulled Zhang Yuan and Yan Runin to toast together. Dao Yufeng laughed and cried, and wanted to call Zhang Yuan's parents on the spot to announce the good news, but she cried and laughed on the phone, and she couldn't even speak clearly. This confused Yang's father and mother. After Dao Yufeng hung up the phone, Yang's mother called Zhang Yuan in confusion and asked him what happened. Zhang Yuan came to the balcony and leaned on the railing to blow the wind, nothing, just my aunt drank too much. Is that so, Xiao Yuan, are the college entrance examination results out? How did you do? Dao Chunru's voice was a little nervous. It's out. Zhang Yuan smiled brightly and said, Mom, I got the first place. There was silence on the other end for a few seconds, and Dao Chunru's cautious but secretly happy voice sounded. First, first. First in the class, Xiao Yuan, you are not lying to mom, are you deliberately making me happy? Why would I lie to you, and I'm not the first in the class, I'm the first in the country, didn't you see my name on the first place in the scoreboard? Zhang Yuan looked at the night sky and smiled. There was a long silence on the other end of the phone. Hello, mom, are you listening? Hiss. Dao Chunru gasped, and she couldn't believe it. Is that person really you? You really got first place. Wait, wait, that means, the top scorer in the whole country is my son. Yeah, how is it? Your son is amazing. Awesome, awesome, really amazing. Dao Chunru was very excited, I'm not dreaming, am I? Don't be too excited, how can I not be excited, you little brat? How did you secretly become the first in the province, no, the country without saying a word? Are you still my son? It's real. Hey, I want to give you a surprise. I still can't believe it. Does your dad know? I sent him a message. By the way, I'll pick you up in Beijing City tomorrow. Well, okay, be safe. The phone was hung up. Zhang Yuan withdrew his gaze from the night sky, leaned against the railing, and felt the night breeze. He saw Mo Shishi dancing excitedly on the sofa in the house, and his aunt and uncle were smiling happily. He couldn't help but smile. The long lost peace without the disturbance of the beast also made Zhang Yuan's heart calm and relaxed. On the other side, the nurse dormitory of Beijing City First Hospital. After Dao Chunru hung up the phone, she looked at Zhang Yuan's photos on the internet. Pacing back and forth excitedly, 
constantly muttering, My son is the first in the country. My son, Xiao Yuan is the first in the country. Unspeakable emotions surged in her chest. Crystal tears ran down her cheeks. She covered her face and cried with joy, sobbing. There is almost nothing more exciting than hearing this news from parents. After the celebration, Yan Runin said goodbye and left. In the middle of the night, after replying to Ji Feiyue and Xu Yian's congratulatory messages, Zhang Yuan stayed alone in the room he had been away from for a long time, sorting out the gains and gains of this college entrance examination. It was really too rich, even the system backpack was full. Let's check what I got after killing the Yin Lord's clone first. Zhang Yuan thought to himself and checked. Fallen black robe, dark gold, HP plus 300, defense plus 300, strength plus 50, speed plus 100, dark element resistance plus 50. After equipping, you can change your appearance freely, and even let the wearer freely change into someone else's appearance. Effect. Hide your body, hide your breath, when you are in the dark, you are part of the darkness. Level requirement. None. Hand of Plunder exclusive skill, the ability to visualize the rules of darkness, which can ignore the level and tyrannically plunder all the objects on the target, including skills and talents. Note, the higher the difference with the target level, the greater the probability of failure. Similarly, the higher the luck value, the greater the probability of success. Cooling Time, 24 hours. Taboo Fragment contains the power of the origin of the abyss, and involves unknown fragments in the taboo field. What will happen after gathering 10 pieces, even the gods don't know. Awakening Stone, a one-time item, there is a certain probability of awakening the second talent after use. It is recommended to use it after the luck is full. Do you want to use it now? I didn't expect that the Awakening Stone that can awaken the second talent could actually produce such a good thing. You can't buy it on the market even if you have money. Zhang Yuan smiled brightly. Both Fallen Black Robe and Hand of Plunder are undoubtedly very useful. Click to learn and equip directly. Next is, Zhang Yuan took out the mysterious treasure box given by Bai Huang. Do you want to open it? The reward for the first place in the country should not be bad. Open it. The treasure chest was opened, and the treasure chest was opened. Ding. You opened the mysterious treasure chest and obtained. Intermediate Teleportation Scroll 10. High Level Teleportation Scroll 3. Super Position Forbidden Spell Scroll 1. Guardian Shield, High Level Item, a polymer product of Guardian Spells, which can resist 3 Fatal Attacks, 3 thirds. 3 Talents Marrow Cleansing Water, Asterisk 1. Top Level Body Refining Material, which can cleanse the body and mind in all directions after taking it, nourish cells, and strengthen bone marrow. Prison finger, six star martial arts, use all the blood and chi in your body to turn into a finger, which can suppress the world, and is extremely domineering. Wind God's blessing, dark gold earring accessory, speed plus 450, attack speed plus 200, wind element resistance plus 50. Additional skill 1. Flying, can fly at twice its own speed. Additional skill 2. Extreme speed can burst out an extreme movement speed of 5 times its own speed in a short period of time, which can last for 20 seconds, and the cooldown is 30 minutes. Equipment level requirement. None. This is the reward for the top scholar in the country. Except for a 6-star martial art, the rest are all related to saving lives. Zhang Yuan was very upset. Even the super level forbidden spell scroll is probably for use when you are in a desperate situation. Life-saving elements are maxed out. How afraid are you that I will die? Zhang Yuan smiled bitterly, but still equipped the equipment, and put away the props and scrolls. A dark gold level accessory is definitely worth hundreds of millions. I have received the 30 million resources from the principal. The rest depends on how much sincerity Shenwu University will show. It shouldn't be too stingy. While thinking, Zhang Yuan added the free attribute points obtained from the upgrade as needed, and at the same time drank a bottle of Sankai Ziswi water that can cleanse the body and mind. The water in the bottle is crystal liquid, and it seems to be dotted with stars. After drinking it, Zhang Yuan only felt that his mind was extremely peaceful. Under instinct, he practiced the three methods of spirit, energy and spirit, and the fire breathing method, the sun extreme visualization method and the immortal body forging method began to work. 
The whole body exuded a faint fluorescence, and a wonderful and pure power flowed in the deepest part of the five internal organs and the bone marrow of the limbs. While nourishing the cells, it also washed away the impurities remaining in the deepest part, making his body as crystal clear as crystal. An immortal cell deep in the body glowed brightly, vibrated rapidly, and burst out with an extremely terrible power, vaguely splitting into two. The spiritual realm also became purer and more condensed, and there were invisible chains condensing and forming. After a long time, the strange phenomenon on Zhang Yuan disappeared, and he slowly opened his eyes. The terrifying golden light shone from his eyes, illuminating the whole house with amazing pressure. It is worthy of being a top-level body refining material. I feel that all the consumption these days has been replenished, and the life magnetic field has reached a new height. Zhang Yuan said in surprise, if I continue, I will probably be able to activate the second immortal cell soon. By then, my strength will increase a lot again. By the way, there is also a power fruit that can permanently increase the strength value. Zhang Yuan took out the power fruit and ate it. Strength plus 10. Check the attribute panel again. Character. Zhang Yuan. Race. Human. Age. 17. Level. Second level warrior LV19. Profession. Martial god mythology. Talent. Infinite Amplification, Original, Supreme Analysis, God Level, Undead Phoenix Flame, SSS. Physical Strength, HP, 4340 plus 300, plus 10 per hour. Strength, 4120. Speed, 3990 plus 450. Spirit, 4240. Luck, 10. Charm, Extra, 10. Passive Specialization, Limit of Strength, Golden Rule. Active Skills, Divine Evasion, Starburst, Godspeed, Martial God Clone, Plundering Hand, One Sword Flow. Armor Crack, Silver Slash, Ants Giant Strength. Spirit Skills, Telekinesis, Martial Arts Pressure, Spiritual Thorn, Infinite Cage, Evil Aura, Nightmare Eyes. Cultivation Method, Immortal Body Forging Method, Fire Breathing Method, Sun Extreme Visualization Method. Innate Martial Arts, Rising Sun Blade, Flowing Fire Funeral. Martial Arts Prison Finger, Sky Splitting Strike, Crimson Shock, Black Lightning Flash. Equipment Relic, Sky Locked Blood Moon, Fallen Black Robe, Dark Gold Crimson Wristband, Rare, Scarlet Ring, Rare, Mithril Boots, Rare. Accessories, Wind God's Blessing. Dark Gold, Lilith's Badge, HP plus 1 per hour. Contract Pet Egg, God Level, Unhatched. Items Guardian Shield, Intermediate Teleportation Scroll 10, High Level Teleportation Scroll 3, Super Level Forbidden Spell Scroll 1. Materials, Flower of Depravity, Gold. Twisted Wreath, Gold, Dark Beetle Knight's Leg Bone, Rare, Mithril Metal, Heart of Darkness. Remaining Free Attribute Points, 0. The Strength has exceeded 4,000. If the Blessing of the Relics is taken into account, it may exceed 5,000 points. Zhang Yuan couldn't help but smack his lips. This value can be said to be quite terrifying. It can be said that he can cause more than 50,000 damage without doing anything, just the simplest grip. It is enough to crush a second level beast. The speed has even reached a new level with the blessing of Wind God's Blessing. Zhang Yuan's current full speed movement speed is close to 1.5 times the speed of sound. If he uses the extreme speed skill of Wind God's Blessing, the five-fold blessing will be 7.5 times the speed of sound. More than 2 kilometers per second. Within a radius of 1 km, it is not much different from teleportation. Golden Ant Man's Heart, Silverback Mantis's Scythe, Dark Beetle Knight's Leg Bones. Except for some high-level materials, these useless materials can be sold. Zhang Yuan thought to himself as he looked through them. He traded a large number of beast materials, rare metals, ores, etc. to Ji Feiyui and sent a message to ask her to help sell them. As for these equipment that I don't need, I will put them all in the guild warehouse to see if anyone wants them. As soon as he threw the unwanted equipment and skill books into the guild warehouse, a voice sounded in the Blood Rose Guild group. Reina, oh my god. Big champion, what did you do in the dungeon? There are so many rare equipment, even gold ones. Zhang Yuan, you haven't slept yet so late, are you delivering food again? Reina. Of course, my dream is to feed the hungry people all over the world. Zhang Yuan, Xu Yian, Hiss. Gold equipment that can only be equipped at level 35, 
Did you kill a third level boss or a fourth level elite monster? Roy. Monster. Lan Shui. Monster. Ji Feiyui. How can you call our big champion, the main attacker of the team, a monster? It's too rude. I think we can call him, beyond the limit, beyond common sense. Zhang Yuan. I didn't expect the royal sister president to be a bit of a middle school student. The old man was very happy. Ji Feiyui. I just finished taking a shower and saw that our top scholar sent me a lot of things. Is this a gift for me? Zhang Yuan. Sister Feiyui probably doesn't like these things, laughs. Ji Feiyui. That's not necessarily true. I like everything you send. Zhang Yuan. Reina. What did I hear? President, you are not a younger person, right? Member Reina has been muted. Zhang Yuan. I will send you some good things later, Sister Feiyui, I'll leave these to you. Ji Feiyui. That's good enough, you can let me help you sell these, but I also have a small request. Zhang Yuan. What? Ji Feiyui. Call me sister so I can listen. Zhang Yuan. Roy. President, you are a brother control, absolutely a brother control, right? Member Roy has been banned. Xu Yian. Is this the authority boss? I'm scared. Lan Shui. Scared plus one. Zhang Yuan. Sister, thank you for your help. In the villa, Ji Feiyui, wearing a yukata, lifted her long legs and raised her red lips. Ji Feiyui. Be good pat on the head, sister will get it for you tomorrow. Shido. Can you leave that gold level and heavy armor and large shield to me? At Zhang Yuan, I don't have anything to exchange, can I exchange it with merit points? Zhang Yuan. Sure. Ji Feiyui. Two LV-35 gold weapons with quite good attributes, together worth about 6,000 merit points in the market. That's about 60 million. Shido said nothing and traded 5,000 merit points and 10 million cash to Zhang Yuan. Zhang Yuan's merit points increased to 5,357. Ji Feiyui. In addition to these two pieces of equipment, the Wangquan suit and the bow of destruction you put up have better attributes, but unfortunately there is no one in our team who is suitable to use them. Xu Yin, at Ji Feiyui, Sister Feiyui, when the level is reached, won't the Wangquan suit be very suitable for me? Ji Feiyui, do you have the money to buy it? Xu Yin was silent. My sister is heartbroken. Lan Shui, at Zhang Yuan, I want to trade you the ghost face wood staff. Ji Feiyui, well, it has the effects of spell penetration and casting speed, which is quite suitable for you. Lan Shui. I can offer 800 merit points. Zhang Yuan. Deal. This is already the value of high-level rare equipment. After completing the transaction, the few people chatted for a while. Xu Yian suggested getting together in a few days to celebrate for Zhang Yuan. Ji Feiyui. Then why not go to the next dungeon together? This is the fastest way to improve team relationships. Zhang Yuan also wanted to see the fourth level abyss, so everyone hit it off and agreed to gather in three days and go to the fourth level abyss again. No words were spoken that night. The next day, the news from the education bureau was faster than expected. The next morning, the college entrance examination scoreline and the general situation of the abyss invasion were announced. The announcement mentioned the terrifying lord of the abyss, Yin Zhu but concealed the fact that Zhang Yuan and his four companions killed Yin Zhu's clone, and only said that the four resisted his clone and persisted until one of the ten lords arrived. But this is enough to shock people. Abyss invasion, King Realm Lord, it was this year's examinee who saved Zhang province. The martial arts exam is over. This year's exam is extremely difficult. The most in history. The Education Bureau issued an announcement that the undergraduate score line is as high as 30 points. Four students from Nanjiang Wudao number. One middle school ranked in the top 10. Shock. The biggest dark horse in this year's college entrance examination turned out to be him. Number one in the country, with a score of 1323, unprecedented. This year's top scorers in each province in the college entrance examination have just been announced, a total of 11 people, and the first one is. Bai Huang from the Education Bureau appeared, and the Abyss invaded the college entrance examination copy. What happened? The Daxia area of the Star Domain Internet was flooded with news about the college entrance examination since early in the morning, and it was full of hot searches. Hundreds of millions of views and millions of comments. Zhang Province's top scorer, 
the first in the country, Abyss Invasion, Nanjong City Wudao No. 1 Middle School, Zhang Yuan. These entries were red and purple, and the popularity was terrifying. Whether it was a transferred warrior or an ordinary person, they were all discussing it with relish. It was enough for a child from an ordinary family to counterattack and become the top scorer in the country, not to mention that the Abyss invasion had occurred. The four candidates faced the King Realm Lord directly and played a significant role, which helped the people above to come to support them. When the time came, several cities were indirectly saved from threats. This is simply incredible. What the hell? What the hell? What did I see when I woke up so early in the morning? The college entrance examination candidate faced the King Realm Lord directly and indirectly saved the city. Am I crazy or is the world crazy? If it weren't for the announcement issued by the Education Bureau, I wouldn't believe it. This is too outrageous, but after looking carefully at the information of the four candidates, it's no wonder. One has an SS-level talent and a legendary profession, and they are all in the top 10 in Zhang province. Even so, it's terrifying. That's the King Realm Lord who can easily destroy a city of millions of people. Even if it's a clone, I'm afraid it can be comparable to a 5th level or even 6th level transfer warrior. I was scared when I saw a 4th level beast in the abyss before. No, a creature in the King Realm. I'm afraid a glance from him is enough to crush thousands of people. It's hard to believe that they didn't collapse in front of him, and they still have the courage to resist. I admire you, I admire you. Quote. What is this called? This is called the responsibility of each generation. Even if they face the King Realm Lord, they must face the Abyss and not retreat. These four candidates are really great. Ha <laughs> ha, you believe it's so outrageous. Anyway, I don't believe it. Believe it or not, but the most outrageous one is still that Zhang Yuan. Yeah, the score of more than 1300 is simply terrifying. Really no bug, I can't kill so many pigs even if I kill pigs for three days. Ah, is this the value of a top-level demon? Is he the descendant of a king-level family? I think so too. There must be a top-level strongman in his family, with a backer and a background. The Education Bureau is paving the way for him. He even faced the king-level lord and resisted for a while. Hee <laughs> hee. What a hairball. I'm from Nanjong City. I heard that he was ranked in the middle of the class a month ago, and his family background is also very ordinary. Don't be fooled. If it was a few decades ago, it would still be possible. Now most of the resources are monopolized by the strong. It's hard for ordinary people to turn over. How can such a demon be born? How is it possible? Alas, I can't understand the world now. Geniuses pop up one after another, as if they are free. Quote. I am afraid that a tree will attract the wind. In previous years, many candidates with excellent college entrance examination scores were slaughtered by the abyss believers. He, a national champion with no family background, may attract the crazy attack of the abyss believers. Quote. I am afraid it is not just the abyss believers. Don't worry, if such a monster is gone, it will be our great Shah that suffers. The top leaders will definitely not sit idly by. That's right. The Thunder Guild is recruiting people. We only need nurses above level 5. The salary is generous. Come quickly. Why are there still advertisements? Thunder Martial Arts School. After that day, the number of people who came to register decreased by 30% to 40%, but today there is a long queue at the door. They are not here to become disciples, but simply to visit, take photos and check in. Even Liang Cheng, who was defeated by Zhang Yuan, was praised and praised by many people. That's brother Liang Cheng. He really looks strong. Of course, he's the one who could fight against the national champion. Yes, yes, although he was killed in one second, it's not something that ordinary people can do to fight against the national champion. Although he was killed in one second, I heard that the Qin family's genius only lasted two moves. Does that mean brother Liang Cheng is half of the Qin family's genius? I think it's about the same. Because of the fight with Zhang Yuan, Liang Cheng missed the college entrance examination due to serious injuries. Now with bandages all over his body, he took a deep breath and roared at the group of people who were taking pictures of him. Get lost. Originally, Chongming Martial Arts School, which was just a remote small martial arts school, gathered countless people who wanted to become its apprentices outside the door. 
The reputation of Chongming Martial Arts School has been completely spread by Zhang Yuan's becoming the national champion. Someone came from the other side of Nanjiang City just to become a fellow apprentice with the national champion. Xu Yian was excited and happy about the revival of the martial arts school, but also a little worried. How could a small martial arts school like hers not accommodate so many people? Her energy was also limited. In the end, she had to take Ji Feiyue's advice and conduct an entrance examination to select the best. Only students under 12 years old who had a certain martial arts foundation and could pass the examination were recruited. The number was finally determined to be 25. They were given martial arts guidance on Saturdays and Sundays. The city defense troops under the city wall of Nanjiang City. Today, Zhang Damu and several comrades sat together. I never thought that our Nanjiang City would have a champion one day, and a national champion. A teammate sighed. The champion of martial arts, unimaginable. What's more surprising is that he remained calm in the face of the invasion of the abyss. Well, we all know how terrifying those beasts are. The king level lord, I dare not think about it. Yeah, I'm a tough guy who has experienced hundreds of battles. Sometimes I get scared to death when I see a third level beast. At the age of 17, he faced the king level lord, save the city from danger, and had the director of the Education Bureau come to present the award in person. Any one of them is scary enough. If my son can be as promising as this, I will kowtow to him. By the way, I don't have a son. So amazing, what is the name of the champion of the college entrance examination? Yang's father asked curiously. He is the dark horse who made a name for himself in Nanjiang City before. He also has the surname Zhang. By the way, his name is Zhang Yuan, the genius with the same name as your son, Old Zhang. Yang's father was stunned. Yes, that's him. He's really a monster, and he's evil all the way. I heard that even the director of education of Zhang province came out in person. 17 years old. Tut tut tut, will he be better than Commander Lai? I don't think so. Commander Lai is already at the fourth level, anyway. Another comrade said. Old Zhang. Didn't you say last time that he and your son have the same name, how did your son do in the exam? Others also looked at Yang's father. Yang's father came back to his senses and smiled bitterly, I. I don't know yet. He sent a message to Zhang Yuan, and Zhang Yuan did reply, but the content made him a little confused. There was only one number, one. Did he only get one point? Or, the college entrance examination is over, and you, as a father, still don't know your son's score, hey. Ha ha ha, old Zhang has always been so careless, I think his son must have done poorly in the exam, too embarrassed to say. The comrades laughed. Zhang Damu smiled and said nothing. Look, he is Zhang Yuan, the top scorer in this year's college entrance examination. A curious comrade turned out a photo on the forum. Let me see. Everyone came closer. He is Zhang Yuan. Sure enough, he is handsome and talented. It would be great if he was my son-in-law. I think I've seen this face somewhere. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Zhang Damu was stunned the moment he saw the photo. This, isn't this his son, although it is very different from before. But his intuition as a father told him. This is his son. Zhang Yuan. But reason made him dare not believe it. Shouldn't it be? Xiao Yuan is the top scorer in the country. Impossible. Just at this moment, a burly man with a crew cut, wearing a military uniform and a mechanical arm on his left arm came over solemnly. It's Commander Lai. Stand up. Father Zhang and the others stood up quickly. Commander Lai came straight in front of them, and his powerful aura came over them. They couldn't help swallowing their saliva, thinking about whether they had violated any military discipline in the past few days. After all, Commander Lai was notoriously strict and ruthless. Commander Lai said, Who is Zhang Damu? Several people glanced at Father Zhang. Father Zhang took a step forward nervously. Here. You are Zhang Damu. Yes, your son's name is Zhang Yuan. Father Zhang was stunned, but still replied, Yes. The next second he was shocked to see. Commander Lai's always cold face actually showed a smile. That's right. From today on, you can go home and don't have to serve as a sentry anymore. Father Zhang was stunned, and then anxious. Why, did I do anything wrong? Yes, Commander Lai, old Zhang has always been diligent and has never made any mistakes. 
The comrade pleaded. Commander Lai smiled and said, you misunderstood. Let him go home and close the business, but the treatment remains unchanged and the salary will be paid. Yang's father and others were even more puzzled. Why? In the shocked eyes of several comrades and Yang's father. Commander Lai continued to smile and said, you deserve it. Thank you as a father for raising such an excellent son and making great contributions to Daxia's resistance to the abyss. My son, Commander Lai, what are you talking about? Commander Lai was a little surprised. Don't you know yet? Your son Zhang Yuan is the national champion of this year. The eyes of several comrades fell on Zhang Damu's face. Zhang Damu stood there in a daze. Ding, you have a new voice message from your son. He clicked the answer button blankly. Zhang Yuan's voice sounded. Dad, you should have seen it, I got the first place in the country. Don't get too excited, it's bad for your heart. Quote. By the way, do you have any leave recently? Can you take a leave to go back to the city? Our family hasn't been together for a long time. I'm sitting on the Skytrain to Beijing City now, picking up my mother. By the way, I'll discuss my college with you. I've decided to go to Shenwu University. After listening, Zhang Damu took a deep breath and looked at his comrade next to him who was shocked. Lao Zhang, hit me with a punch to see if I'm dreaming. Quote. On the other side, the sky above Nanjiang City was overcast with rain and thunder and lightning. In the heavy rain, the Skytrain to Beijing City passed over the Posuo River. Zhang Yuan closed the information bar, held his chin and looked at the turbulent Yellow River water outside the window, with a smile on his handsome face. When he thought that his current assets were approaching the 200 million mark, and there were several huge amounts of funds about to arrive. He couldn't help but feel happy. The seat next to the Skytrain. A girl kept peeking at Zhang Yuan with a surprised look in her eyes. What a pretty boy, the girl thought. Her name is Cao Xiaoyu, a sophomore at Nanjiang City Wudao No. 3 Middle School, and she is one of the top students in the class. This time, she was asked by her parents to visit a sick relative in Beijing City, and she thought it would be a boring trip. But she didn't expect the boy sitting next to her to be so good-looking. Not feminine beauty, but the kind of handsomeness that is delicate and masculine. Sword-like eyebrows, star-like eyes, and a straight nose. Her skin was as white and crystal-like as crystal, her half-long black hair was full of vigorous life luster, and her whole body exuded a comfortable and clear breath, and there was an indescribable mysterious temperament, which attracted other people's attention involuntarily. Is there something wrong? Cao Xiaoyu came back to her senses, and her face flushed instantly when she met the boy's clear and inquiring golden eyes. No, nothing, she hurriedly explained, feeling her ears burning. Ah, he wouldn't think that I was a fangirl. It's so embarrassing. Zhang Yuan withdrew his gaze from her. His sharp eyes swept around. What was the strangeness I felt just now? Hey, are you also going to Beijing City to visit the sick? Two aunts whispered not far away. Yes, I heard that many people in Beijing City are sick now, and I don't know what happened. Could it be some monster? Who knows? Suddenly, the conversation between the two aunts came to an abrupt end, and their expressions became stiff. I, I can't move. Me too. What's going on? The two aunts said in panic. Quote exclamation mark quote. Zhang Yuan's eyes narrowed slightly. The other people in the carriage were the same, with terrified expressions. I can't move. I, what's wrong with my hand? Hiss. In Cao Xiaoyu's shocked and confused eyes. All the people in the carriage stood up, facing her and Zhang Yuan, struggling, raising their hands to take out weapons, blades, and some women also took out kitchen knives and soup spoons. Cao Xiaoyu was shocked. You, what are you doing? We don't want to, we don't know why, our bodies are out of control. A man cried. Get out of the way. A burly man shouted, and the axe in his hand chopped at the two people with a whistling wind and a fierce momentum. The axe was emitting a white blade light of skill, and with his overflowing blood, he was obviously a changed warrior. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Cao Xiaoyu, who was still a student, was so frightened that his face turned pale on the spot, and he was stunned by the momentum of the axe. At the moment when he was about to be hit, a hand stretched out from the side. Under Cao Xiaoyu's astonished gaze, ping, the hand seemed to catch a fallen leaf. Grasp the falling axe with one hand. The sharp blade with great force could not even leave a trace of white mark on his palm. 
Zhang Yuan exerted a little force with his palm. Bang! The axe was crushed to pieces. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Cao Xiaoyu stared blankly at the boy beside him with wide eyes, and his open mouth seemed to be able to fit a duck egg. The burly man was also extremely shocked. How is it possible? My weapon is made of alloy. No, no, thank you, brother. Save me, I don't want to kill anyone. The middle-aged woman cried loudly, and was controlled to hold a kitchen knife and chop Zhang Yuan. What are you doing? The security personnel of the Sky Rail ran into the car and saw this scene, and was horrified. Stop. He pulled out the baton from his waist, and his body flashed with weak lightning. He rushed to the middle-aged woman to stop her, but the baton in his hand was inexplicably swung at Zhang Yuan. Ah, what's going on? The security personnel panicked. Get out of the way. It's really coming for me. Zhang Yuan thought to himself. Nothing. The blood in his body shook. All the people who came to kill with various weapons were shaken away. There was another flash of magical golden light in his eyes. The terrifying mental power gushed out. Everyone was like a bug stuck in glue, unable to move. No, it's not moving, great. A middle-aged woman breathed a sigh of relief. Could this be the puppet master's trick? A professional warrior panicked. Quick, contact the inspection department. Zhang Yuan used his mental power to take a closer look. He saw that everyone, there is an invisible illusory thread above the head, connecting to the roof. He looked up at the roof. He he, have you been discovered? A young man laughed, but his expression was terrified, no, it's not me. Zhang Yuan, are you a believer in the abyss? Yes, an old man said, with the same terrified expression. In accordance with the will of our great lord, I have come to dedicate your flesh and soul to him. A woman said, crying in panic, no, it's not me. Zhang Yuan thought to himself, are you planning to restrict my actions by controlling these people? It has to be said. Their strategy was successful. The small carriage and the dense crowd did have an impact on Zhang Yuan. If he exerted a little force, he would probably shatter the internal organs of ordinary people among these passengers. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. The invisible silk thread shot towards him like a group of snakes. But before it got close to Zhang Yuan, it was bounced off by the barrier transformed by telekinesis and then burned. If you have the ability, you can come and try. Zhang Yuan said indifferently, looking up at the roof, and locked the figure with his mental power. Spiritual thorn. The woman standing on the roof smiled contemptuously, it's useless. I have a rare high-level mental protective gear on me. Even a fourth-level mental type transfer warrior cannot break it. Snap. The mental protective gear broke. In her incredible look. The mental power released by Zhang Yuan was like a red-hot spear, easily piercing her mental realm and directly shattering her mental sea. Ah, accompanied by an extremely painful scream, the woman fell like mud. But the silk thread on the controlled person did not disappear, indicating that the puppeteer was still alive, and the woman was just her clone. Idiot, a cold voice sounded. A ghost-like figure wrapped in darkness appeared outside the sky track window. Ah, ghost, Cao Xiaoyu was so scared when he saw this scene. Zhang Yuan glanced at him. Sure enough, there is more than one. The aura emanating from this black shadow may have reached the fourth level. How can someone who can be cursed by the Lord himself be so easy to deal with? The black shadow said, and stretched out his hand. But today, this is where you are buried. He stretched out his hand and clenched it. Bang bang. The hard alloy shell of the high-speed moving sky rail began to sag inward, as if a terrible force was compressing the entire carriage inward, crushing Zhang Yuan and the passengers together. Alarm, alarm, Sky Rail number 384 was attacked by an unknown external force, alarm. Zz zz zz. Zhang Yuan sneered at him, and his mental power burst out again, resisting the twisting external force, so that the Sky Rail carriage no longer twisted inward. The black shadow outside the window was silent. No matter what. It was incredible that a second level person could have such mental power. He, who claimed to be a madman, was stunned for a moment. Martial God Clone. Zhang Yuan's mind moved. The Martial God Clone, covered in a dark cloak, instantly appeared outside the car window. He smashed the black shadow with one punch. This was also an illusion. Above, Zhang Yuan looked up at the roof of the car. 
The martial god clone flashed again and came to the roof of the car. He punched somewhere. Boom, it was broken with a bang in the air. A barrier was broken, breaking like glass. Three figures emerged from it. The Wushan avatar was so powerful that it was difficult to see the whole body. What is this? A clone, the shadow man exclaimed in astonishment. The Wushan clone did not hesitate for even half a second. He flashed in front of the three people and raised his hand to hit a crimson shock. Boom, the air exploded and roared. One person tore the scroll into pieces, forming a red crystal shield in front of him. The Wushan clone's punch hit the crystal shield, making an extremely dull sound, and the air wave surged. A crack appeared on the crystal shield. The Wushan clone continued to punch. Bang 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 bang. Dozens of punches in one second. In less than two seconds, the crystal shield exploded in the eyes of the three people who couldn't believe it. Hey, you're kidding. Cold sweat dripped down the wizard's forehead. This is a crystal shield scroll that can withstand a full-strength attack from a fourth-level beast. The martial god clone smashed the crystal shield, and the fist wind whistled. The burly figure flashed, blocking the wizard, and punched the martial god clone. Bang! The terrifying wind pressure exploded, and the black robe was blown away, revealing a two-meter-tall half-human, half-iron body, made of alloy, full of guns and steel pipes, exuding a creepy pressure. Zhang Yuan, who saw this scene through the martial god clone's vision, was slightly surprised. This method of fusing human flesh and blood with machinery is a bit like the rumored mechanical church. Could it be that even they are dispatched to deal with him? Its right arm was smashed by the martial god clone's punch, but soon, the strange metal on its body quickly condensed on the right arm like flowing liquid, forming a huge cannon barrel, aiming at the martial god clone. Machinery is the truth. A man with half a human face made a mechanical sound. Boom, a laser cannon shot out from it. The martial god's clone dodged it. Ka ka ka. The gun on the robot's shoulder was raised. Da 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 da. The gun roared, and the barrage of bullets swept. The top of the sky rail was roaring continuously for a while. Report. A terrorist attack occurred on the 384th Skytrack, suspected to be the work of the Abyss Believers. A fourth-level supernatural power-related transfer warrior, codenamed Ghost Sheep, appeared. Report. The mechanical cult appeared near the Poso River, causing hundreds of casualties in a building, and the harm is still deepening. Report. According to the investigation, the top scorer in the college entrance examination is currently on the 384th Sky Track, suspected to be the target of the attack by the Abyss Believers. What did you say? Yan Runin's angry voice sounded in the intercom, where is Boss Zhang? The captain has led the sixth team to rescue. The 384th Sky Track quickly passed through the sky above Poso. The martial arts clone flashed and appeared behind the robot, holding a core in his hand, and crushed it violently. The whole body was surging with electricity, and the robot that was disassembled for the most part lost its repair ability and exploded. In less than 30 seconds, a robot with a combat power comparable to that of a third-level berserker was completely destroyed. Tisk, it's really hard to deal with. The fourth-level black shadow man who was suspected to be the leader cursed in a low voice, condensed a twisted light ball in his hands, and went forward to fight with the martial god's clone. The man in the robe picked up the blue-haired staff in his hand and chanted the spell. Whoosh, accompanied by the howling of the wind. Splash, a huge stream of water rose from the Posuo River, turned into a water snake, roared and rushed towards the sky track, trying to break the sky track in half. Seeing this horrible scene, the controlled people burst into tears and cried like ghosts and wolves. Ah, I don't want to die. Someone come and save me. A puppeteer, a water mage, and a fourth-level psychic transferred warrior, to deal with a second-level student, the lineup is good enough. Zhang Yuan, who used his mental power to protect the passengers in the entire carriage, said slowly. Unfortunately, it's not enough. What about adding them? Said the man in black who was fighting with the martial god's clone on the roof. He tore up a summoning scroll. Two figures appeared. One big and one small, one tall and one short. Finally, it's my turn. The burly giant clenched his fist and grinned, suddenly bent down, and pierced the alloy roof with his palm like a knife. The short figure disappeared into the darkness. Crack. The top of the sky rail was torn apart. A burly figure jumped down, making a dull sound. 
In Sao Xiao Yu's horrified eyes, the giant was completely black, his muscles were knotty as iron, and he was surrounded by a strong bloody aura. His expression was ferocious, and his murderous aura was overwhelming. Come, such a strong mental power, it turns out that you have awakened a spiritual talent, amazing, the giant looked at Zhang Yuan and said, it's a pity that you can't spare your mental power to deal with me now in order to protect these people, right? As he said this, he grabbed the head of the old man next to him, and blood gushed out like a fountain, splashing everywhere. Sao Xiao Yu almost vomited. Zhang Yuan's face was grim. Ha 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 ha, did you see it? Boy, it's because of you that these people died. The giant grinned and weighed the head in his hand. The eyes of others were full of fear and boundless despair. If you want to hate, hate him. Hate that you and this top scholar sat on the same bus. It's your bad luck. Watch this. Quote, the giant threw the old man's head towards Zhang Yuan fiercely, with a savage move, but with unreasonable and tyrannical strength. The old man's head flew in front of Zhang Yuan and was blocked by a thick blood barrier. The old man's head, who died with his eyes open, swelled up quickly, emitting dazzling blood light, and exploded like a flesh and blood bomb. Bang! After the explosion, the smoke and dust dissipated. Zhang Yuan's unscathed figure appeared, and the people around him were also protected by the ripples of blood and chi, blocking most of the damage. Seeing that his blood and chi were weakened a little, the giant with blood all over his face laughed more wildly and unbridled. Ha ha ha, it's just as I thought. In order to protect these useless waste and garbage, you can't spare your hands now. Why should you protect? Why should the strong sacrifice their lives for garbage? This is simply a perverted logic. Quote, this is simply the spiritual imprint that the weak in modern society instill in the strong. It is an evil spiritual input. The real strong should give up everything. The burly giant shot in front of him and punched out, hitting Zhang Yuan in the face with a whistling evil wind. Die, fake man. Bang. The punch hit Zhang Yuan's forehead hard, and the remaining fist force shattered the bulletproof car window behind Zhang Yuan. It can be seen how powerful it is. Hee <laughs> hee. The burly giant grinned, but stopped immediately, and his expression became stiff. Zhang Yuan slowly raised his head, his golden eyes were cold, and shot out a heart-pounding cold light. That's it, quote, the giant's heart suddenly tightened, and an indescribable fear surged in his heart. You, I am a fourth-level rare profession. When I use my skills, the damage of a punch exceeds 200,000. How could you be unharmed? Puff, blood burst out. The giant looked at the palm that pierced his chest, his eyes widened, unbelievable. Zhang Yuan said coldly, it caused me damage, a full 500 points. Boom, a flash of black and red flames. The giant had no room to struggle, and instantly turned into a human torch and was burned to ashes. It was the first time that Zhang Yuan killed someone, but there was no ripple in his heart, just like killing a beast. In Sao Xiao Yu's dull eyes. The mysterious and powerful handsome boy had flying black hair, cold golden eyes, and a majestic expression, issuing an order like a king. You will all die here today. The sky was full of thunder and lightning. Bang, 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 bang. The sky rail was shaking violently. It was the water dragon that hit the sky rail. The programmed defense array was activated, covering the entire sky rail like a barrier. But under the continuous impact of the water dragon, it was only a matter of time before it broke. The passengers and other carriages who didn't understand what was happening couldn't help but scream in fear. It was a mess, in the carriage stained red with blood. The cold wind mixed with heavy rain poured in mercilessly from the windows, and the water vapor was like white fog. Wa-la-la, the passengers with extremely terrified expressions stood on their seats like puppets. The black-haired and golden-eyed boy stood in the aisle with a cold expression. Shua, swish, swish, three cold lights slashed at the back of Zhang Yuan's head. Zhang Yuan didn't even look at it. He punched the air with his backhand. Crack, black lightning flashed, and crimson ripple surged. The air cracked like glass, the windows around exploded, and the terrifying shock wave swept around. A short figure with a horrified expression and disordered breath fell from the air. Zhang Yuan's figure flashed and appeared in front of him. He stretched out his hand to grab his head and crushed it. But it was just a paper body. Substitute skills. Zhang Yuan thought to himself. Go to hell. A voice came from the shadow.
A bloody mass was thrown out and fell to the floor. What? What is this? In Sao Xiao Yu's horrified eyes. The bloody mess squirmed and formed a human mouth, opened its mouth towards Zhang Yuan, and uttered a curse. Die, buzz. The invisible curse power turned into black spikes, ignoring defense, and instantly nailed Zhang Yuan's limbs. Minus 384. At the same time, red damage floated above Zhang Yuan's head. The third level shadow killer emerged from the shadows and flashed in front of Zhang Yuan. Blade Fury. Cut the throat. Shadow thrust. Seven consecutive hits. The poisoned blade in his hand cut towards Zhang Yuan's vitals at a speed so fast that it was impossible to see clearly. The blade shadows overlapped seven times, and the seven attacks were all aimed at Zhang Yuan's heart, extremely cruel and accurate. Get out. Zhang Yuan raised his eyes, and his whole body burst out with terrifying blood and chi, forming a blood and chi barrier similar to a barrier, making it difficult for the assassin's stab to advance an inch. A terrifying golden light shot out from his indifferent golden eyes. Boom. In an instant, a strong pressure erupted from him. The people who were still in fear and terror did not even have the strength to resist, and they fainted instantly in front of this terrifying deterrent force. The shadow killer was even more directly baptized by the pressure, and his spirit and will collapsed instantly. Zhang Yuan shattered the cursed spikes stretched out his hand to pinch the head of the short assassin, and a black flame flashed in his palm, burning it to ashes. A third level rare assassin profession, fell. Gurgle. Cao Xiaoyu, who witnessed all this, couldn't help swallowing his saliva and said. Good, so powerful. Zhang Yuan looked at the bloody thing on the ground. After releasing the curse once, it became gray and withered as if it had lost all its power. Identification. Sinful flesh and blood, low level, made of human souls and beast flesh and blood, it is made through evil rituals and can carry and release curses. Disgusting thing, Zhang Yuan said with disgust, and crushed it into ashes with one foot. After doing this, he looked at Cao Xiaoyu and said coldly, how long will you hide? Cao Xiaoyu was stunned for two seconds, looked at the side, and pointed at himself. Me, a gray evil halo appeared behind Zhang Yuan, Looking at the pure girl in school uniform, a black light flashed in his golden eyes. Eyes of fear. Cao Xiaoyu took two steps back, her face full of fear, her eyes dull, and it was obvious that her spirit had been dragged into the abyss of fear, but she let out a girl's crisp laughter. Hee <laughs> hee, how did you find me? The mental pressure I released did not avoid her. I see, there is a flaw here. You are the puppeteer behind the scenes. Yes. Unlike those useless lunatics of the Abyss Believers, I am a sixth-level big shot. Cao Xiaoyu showed a weird smile on her fearful face. You can call me Miss Puppet. Above the sky track. Feeling the disappearance of his companion's breath, the fourth-level black-clothed man entangled by the God of War's clone gnashed his teeth. A bunch of useless things. Boom. Thunder and lightning flashed in the sky, and heavy rain and strong winds intertwined. The mage saw a few figures vaguely appearing under the dark sky in the distance, and said, the people from the inspection department are here. They came so quickly. This group of minions of order, loyal dogs of rules, are really annoying. The black-clothed leader cursed, with a crazy look on his face. There is no other way, I can only use the last trick. Are you going to use that trick? He <laughs> he, the mage's body trembled under his cloak, and he laughed a little crazy. Great, I hear the abyss calling me. Stop talking nonsense, hurry up. The man in black cursed, and was swept by the martial god's clone again. The defensive supernatural shield was broken, and the whole person flew backwards into the air like a cannonball. Lord of the great abyss, we servants offer our flesh and blood as a sacrifice, respectfully invite you. The mage chanted a spell, the words were evil, and a blood-colored magic circle gradually appeared under his feet. Shua. The martial god's clone flashed in front of the black-clothed leader in midair and dropped a finger. Prison suppressing finger. A vast gravity came over, blocking the space and forming a domain. The black-clothed leader was like being stuck in a quagmire, unable to move. Above his head, a series of crimson and rich blood intertwined into a giant finger phantom, with a trace of electric arc, suppressing him with an irresistible might. He looked up at the giant finger that was crushing him. The black-clothed man with blood on his mouth showed a wanton and crazy smile on his face, his black clothes fluttering in the wind, his hood fell off, revealing an ordinary face. 
Great, great, awesome. I never thought I could fight such a monster. Ha ha ha, mom, did you see it? I'm not as useless as you said, am I? At this moment, the excitement and madness on his face reached its peak, as if he was on a podium watched by thousands of people, and his long dead mother smiled and applauded him with countless people. If I could die with such a genius, my lord would definitely praise me. Expectation and hope appeared on his face, and his hands condensed black and purple balls of light, one of which smashed the head of the mage who had completed the magic circle. He did not hesitate to hit the other ball into his chest, crushing his heart with his own hands, and with a satisfied smile on his face, he followed the mage and turned into blood and flowed into the formed blood-colored magic circle. In an instant, the magic circle glowed. The outer layer of the carriages in various parts of the sky rail all appeared blood-colored magic circles like red roses, emitting dazzling red light, and exploded. Boom 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 boom. The sky track shook violently in the explosion. The defensive array that could resist missiles became fragmented. It seemed that it would break in the next second. People were lying in a mess in the carriage. Zhang Yuan stared at the girl with a happy smile on her face, his expression solemn. Level 6. It's a bit tricky. Haven't the people from the patrol department arrived yet? What if I have to protect myself with all my strength and fight with all my strength? The battle spreads, the speed of the sky track plus being in the air. I'm afraid everyone on the entire sky track will die. From the beginning to now. Zhang Yuan has been thinking about minimizing casualties and trying his best to protect, so he controls his strength to avoid affecting ordinary people. Compared with the transferred warriors, the lives of ordinary people are really too fragile, so fragile that if they are accidentally involved in the battle of the transferred warriors, they will die unclearly. But Zhang Yuan can only do his best. If it really came to the point of no return, he would not hold back. Facing the Abyss Believers, a group of lunatics who regarded human life as worthless, if he surrendered just because the other party threatened the lives of the people in the carriage. That would be truly hopeless stupidity. Just now, Zhang Yuan saw the giant twist off the old man's head and watched someone die because of him. Although he would be angry, he would not be angry to the point of losing his mind. A fourth-level transfer warrior is not so easy to kill, let alone when Zhang Yuan is tied up and unable to exert his full strength. If he did not kill him immediately, the noise caused in the narrow sky rail carriage during the battle would probably explode everyone in the carriage. The best choice was to kill him instantly when he was relaxed, and the result proved that his choice was correct. Except for a few people who were seriously injured by the exploding head thrown by the giant, there were no greater casualties. The old man was the victim of all this. It can be said to be ruthless, or cold-blooded. This is the fate of the weak. It is also like a microcosm of the world. Hey, Sao Xiaoyu, who calls herself, Miss Dahl, said in a clear girl's voice, looking at Zhang Yuan in front of her and smiling. Have you heard of the Church of Suffering? No, Zhang Yuan asked. Are you not a believer in the abyss? Of course not. I'm not one of those crazy people who wants to die at any time. Chapter 91 Over the Posuo River, heavy rain poured down. Several figures appeared in the sky in the distance, and with the support of flying props, they quickly flew towards the high-speed air track. Captain, Look, Shen Yi shouted, boom 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 boom. Explosions continued on the orbit, from beginning to end, and the defensive formation was in danger. It's the blood explosion array. It's indeed those lunatics. Zhang Wei said solemnly, oops, if the defensive formation is broken, the air rail will definitely be hidden too by the water dragon, which will definitely cause heavy casualties. Ji Yu San, use your ability to control the wind to make us go faster. The young man named Ji Yu San smiled bitterly, I think so too, but it's already the fastest. Team leader, a burly man shouted, I've got a great idea. Yan Shan, you are covered in dead muscles and are the slowest among us. What can you do? said the charming looking Shen Yi. Zhang Wei, anyway, let's listen. Yan Shan chuckled, Captain, have you ever heard of shot put throwing? Boom, the explosion exploded outside the window, and hot wind swept into the car. Sao Xiaoyu, opened his arms and his hair danced wildly. In this world, people die in pain and despair every moment. Don't you think suffering is the true meaning of the world? Ferocious beasts, 
natural disasters, diseases, curses, misfortunes, the world will eventually come to an end, and countless people will live and die without knowing why. Watching others struggle in pain, and blooming with traces of human brilliance in despair, this is, this is the greatest value of short life. Our suffering church was established to bring the deepest suffering to the world. It can be said that our existence is to change this dirty world. How about it? It's great, right? The girl said excitedly, with one pupil dark and happy, and the other pupil devoid of fear. She stretched out a hand towards Zhang Yuan and invited, how about it? Do you want to join us and distort this boring world bound by rules? I reject. Zhang Yuan looked at Cao Xiaoyu in front of him and said coldly, I'm not interested in changing the world. I don't think there's anything great about singing about suffering and pain. In my opinion, there is no difference between you and the abyss believers. This is really rude, comparing us to those empty shells. Cao Xiaoyu shook his head, the difference between us and them is huge. We are the directors, the people who control the puppets behind the scenes. Those madmen are just toys that we can manipulate casually. What we want to do, is far grander than them. A sly and smug smile flashed across her face, hey, do you know what we plan to do next? I'll definitely scare you if I tell you. She looked excited and her tone was mysterious. I can listen and see. You said you're not interested, that's a lie. Hee <laughs> hee, do you want to say it? I really want to say it, but if I say it, evil judge will definitely be angry. She struggled and finally thought of a good idea. Well, you join us so I can tell you. Kang, Zhang Yuan slowly pulled out the jet black Tang Dao from the void. It was the rare high-level weapon that Lin Qingyun borrowed from him when he faced the Yin Lord's clone in the dungeon trial. Its name was Black Wolf Killing Blade. I told you, I'm not interested. I would like to advise you, if you don't come out of her body. In his perception, the girl's spirit was sinking deeper and deeper into the realm of fear, and her vitality was getting weaker and weaker, and she could not last long. Cao Xiaoyu, looked at him and laughed loudly, what? Are you planning to kill this innocent young lady? She is only 15 years old, pure and innocent, and has never even been in love. She has suffered from you. Can you get rid of the implication? Quote. Zhang Yuan holds a black knife in one hand, and the black clothes transformed into a fallen black robe or hunting and dancing in the strong wind. His golden eyes are clear and his expression is indifferent, like a judge executing death in the dark night. You can try. Cao Xiaoyu, stared at him for several seconds, raised his hands. Forget it, forget it. The murderous look on his body is simply terrifying to death. Today I will show mercy and return her to you. Anyway, I'm just here to say hello, and try to see if I can win you over to our side. Now that the talks have broken down, there's nothing to say. A ball, pink light emerged from behind the girl's head, transformed into a red puppet shadow wrapped with silk threads, stared at Zhang Yuan with a weird look and smiled. That's all for today. Don't forget our name, we are suffering. Swish. The black knife drew a perfect arc in the air, cut through the red puppet shadow, and split it in two. He he he. It smiled strangely after being split into two halves, and turned into a rain of light and dissipated. When we meet again next time, the clouds of suffering and despair will surely cover you. Protect your relatives and friends, although it will eventually end in B. He <laughs> he. After Miss Puppet left, the martial god clone returned to Zhang Yuan and walked into his shadow. He used his mental power to check the situation of the school uniform girl. He found that her life characteristics were good and there was nothing abnormal in her spiritual world. Zhang Yuan finally breathed a sigh of relief. It seems that for the puppeteer, the life of an ordinary girl is not worth mentioning at all. The main target is still Zhang Yuan. He chose to possess the body of the girl next to him, probably to observe him closely. Bang! The sound of the broken magic circle came from outside. The moment Zhang Yuan turned his head to look, the water dragon hit the center of the sky rail heavily. Boom! The whole sky rail shook violently, shook violently, and under the huge impact, it left the track and gradually tilted to the left. Crackling, the carriages of the sky rail twisted and collided, making a harsh sound. All the people in the carriages screamed and grabbed the handrails. Some people who didn't hold on firmly hit the bulletproof windows directly, one after another. Not good. Zhang Wei's face changed when he saw this scene, and he said angrily, hurry up. Okay, 
The power is charged, Yan Shan said, and his right arm after using the multiplication talent was as thick as a giant's hand. He grabbed Zhang Wei and charged backwards, and then threw him towards the sky rail. Go, Captain, swoosh, accompanied by a sonic boom. Zhang Wei flew like a meteor towards the crashing sky rail, and the oncoming strong wind distorted his face. Just as he was about to approach the sky rail, a young figure in black clothes and black hair suddenly appeared in the air near the sky rail, with a pair of golden eyes shining in the dim rain curtain, like two bright candles in the dark alley. Who is that person? Shen Yi was surprised. It seems to be protecting the target. Ji Yu San was shocked. He's fine, which means. In Zhang Wei's shocked and stunned eyes, relying on the flying skill of Wind God Blessing, Zhang Yuan stood in the air under the rain, bathed in the rain, and punched the rushing water dragon. Crimson Shock plus Black Lightning Flash. Crimson Lightning Flash. Boom. The fist force exploded, and countless crimson lightning surged. With Zhang Yuan as the center. The rain curtain with a diameter of 10 meters evaporated instantly, forming a vacuum zone. A crimson spherical shock wave briefly appeared in front of the fist, colliding with the roaring water dragon. Crack. The two briefly stalemated for a second. Bang. The terrifying shock wave condensed into a crimson beam of light, which penetrated the huge body of the water dragon in a straight line. The water dragon summoned by the fourth level water mage was blown up by a punch. The two of them were so angry that they were beaten. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Zhang Wei looked at the scene in shock. He was amazed at the power of this punch. Not only was the blood and chi strong and condensed beyond the ordinary, but the high level of martial arts revealed in this punch was enough to make people dumbfounded. It was hard to believe that it was from the hands of a 17-year-old boy. Wa la la. The large water mass formed by the broken water dragon fell into the Posuo River, and the area that was blasted into a vacuum zone by the punch was filled with heavy rain again. Zhang Yuan stood in the air and saw Zhang Wei coming at a very fast speed, his expression slightly condensed. Very strong, but no killing intent. Not an enemy. Is it the patrol department? Zhang Wei sensed a strong hostility the moment he saw the pair of burning yet cold and calm golden eyes, but it disappeared immediately. The two passed each other in the air. Zhang Wei smashed the rain curtain and came to the side of the sky track that was about to fall out of the track. The passengers who were squeezed against the windows because of the tilt of the sky track were overjoyed when they saw the badge of the patrol department on him. It's the patrol department. Great. We are saved. Wu. Please save us. Help. Zhang Wei said in a steady voice. Don't worry, you will be fine. Hu, take a deep breath. His whole body burst out with blood, and he lifted his hands. Two transparent giant hands formed by the condensation of air appeared on the side of the sky track that was tilted 60 degrees to the left and was about to rush out of the track. Zhang Wei, a sixth-level transfer warrior, talent A-level supernatural sequence airflow control, rare profession wind knight. A roar, Zhang Wei burst out with strength, and propped up the sky track from collapsing. But it was just propping it up. The strength of a sixth-level transfer warrior was not enough to lift a 100-meter-long sky track, not to mention that it was moving at high speed. Zhang Yuan flew to Zhang Wei's side, helped him, and summoned the martial god clone to push the sky track together. The passengers in the car also saw him. Is he also from the patrol department? So young. He looks about the same age as my son. Can he really save us? Mom, big brother can fly, look. Woo woo woo. I don't want to die here. The passengers in the car were suspicious. Now there is no need to suppress the fighting power to avoid hurting innocent people. Zhang Yuan did not hesitate at all and released the skill directly. Starburst. Boom. A huge aura that was extremely hot and crimson burst out from him. The rainstorm in an area was instantly evaporated, forming a large amount of white water vapor. Zhang Wei turned his head and looked in shock. In the diffuse white water vapor, Zhang Yuan, who was shrouded in flames, pressed his hands on the side of the sky rail car, his black hair fluttering, his golden eyes bursting with terrible golden light, and arcs flashing around him. Even through the window, the terrifying pressure still came to his face. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. The passengers were all stunned and gasped. Hiss, 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 crack. Zhang Yuan looked focused, ignoring the shock of the passengers, just bursting out the power of his whole body and mind, releasing the thrust. 
there has never been a moment. Like now, there is no need to consider martial arts and fighting, just pure release of power, pushing hard. How huge is the force of the thousands of tons of sky rails falling, like a mountain rolling down, the huge gravity crushing Zhang Yuan's shoulders, even in the starburst state, it is a bit difficult to hold on. The heart beats very fast, like a runaway engine, the lava-like blood rushes in the blood vessels, the hard alloy bones creak in the body, the muscles burst out with terrifying air pressure, the pores open inch by inch, the boiling hot air gushes out, and the deeper life potential begins to emerge under the heavy pressure, integrating into the deep of the cells, promoting cell division and regeneration. The huge life potential absorbed and accumulated by the Xinwo breathing method in the college entrance examination copy is gradually released under such heavy pressure. At the center of the eyebrows, a golden particle emitting sacred golden light vibrates very fast, and layers of phantoms appear. The power emitted repels the surrounding cells and forms a vacuum zone. Zhang Yuan only feels that every second it seems that new power is pouring out from the depths of the body, continuously. Cool, it's really cool. Zhang Yuan wants to roar to the sky. Seeing Zhang Yuan in this state, Zhang Wei next to him is in a state of turmoil. Such momentum and power are comparable to me at the fifth level. Is he really only at the second level? Exclamation mark. Quote, after the Tiandao game was integrated into reality, some researchers discovered that the experience gained from killing ferocious beasts is actually the same kind of human energy as the qi and blood gained through cultivation. Due to individual differences, the qi and blood intensity of each level of warriors who change professions is different. Different, the experience required to upgrade is also different. Zhang Wei has also seen many geniuses with extremely strong physiques. Their energy and blood can be doubled or even several times that of people of the same level. With the blessing of talents or skills, it will be even higher. But this was the first time he saw someone whose qi and blood could be hundreds or thousands of times higher than those of people at the same level. Even with the blessing of skills and talents, it is too exaggerated. How terrifying is this physique and how deep is his foundation? Zhang Wei now finally understood why Yan Runan said before that he could feel a threat from him. She was really right. Team leader, Shen Yi's voice came from afar. Zhang Wei came back to his senses, looked at Zhang Yuan and said, Hold on, our people. Before he finished speaking, he saw Zhang Yuan take out a few crystal stones that exuded rich life energy from the system backpack, bite them into pieces and swallow them directly. With the blessing of huge life energy, the second immortal particle between Zhang Yuan's eyebrows was completely formed. The two immortal particles circled each other like quantum entanglements. The radiance they emitted turned the surrounding cells into gold, and there was a vague trend of assimilation. Boom! Two beams of terrifying golden light shone out from his eyes, and Zhang Yuan's arrogance surged again, becoming majestic and even more terrifying than before. Zhang Wei was completely stunned and couldn't say a word with his mouth wide open. Can the power surge again? That said, it wasn't his full strength just now. This, 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 this. Is this a human being? The second immortal particle was condensed. The body was transformed again. The blood was thick like molten lava, with wisps of golden light rushing through the blood vessels like a flood, the bones were crystal clear, the medulla was in the liquid state of golden glass, and the terrible power flowed through the muscles as the chest breathed. The power surged again. Break through 6,000 points. An ordinary person with 10 points of strength has a maximum thrust of 100 kg. At this moment, Zhang Yuan has a strength of more than 6,000 points, and with the triple blessing in the starburst state, he bursts out a maximum thrust of more than 180 tons. Such a huge and terrifying force was condensed between the palms, and the torque generated was terrifying. The side of the sky rail was directly sunken, the wind pressure exploded, and the hot and blazing air waves spread from Zhang Yuan like a wave. Ha! With the help of several people, the Skytrain finally arrived at Beijing City Terminal without any danger. The Beijing City Patrol team that received the notice did not arrive until this moment, and the speed was more than a beat slower. The passengers staggered and got off the train in shock. Some people held Ji Yu San and others' hands with tears in their eyes and expressed their gratitude. Thank you, thank you. Mom, where is the big brother who saved us? A girl asked. The girl's mother looked around, but did not see the young figure. If she could see him, she really wanted to thank him. On the other side, in the car where the accident happened, 
A young woman wearing a silver medal uniform, which set off her proud figure, came to Zhang Yuan and Zhang Wei. I am Li Mengju, the captain of the third squad of the Beijing City Patrol Department. Captain Zhang Wei, long time no see. Captain Li, long time no see. Li Mengju looked around and asked, what happened? As far as I know, it should be a premeditated attack from the Abyss Believers, and the target is him. Zhang Wei said, looking at Zhang Yuan. Li Mengju was stunned when he saw Zhang Yuan, and then suddenly realized, pinching his chin and said, so that's it, a suicide attack against the new champion, is indeed the style of the Abyss Believers. Not just the Abyss Believers. Zhang Yuan said. The two looked at him. Zhang Yuan briefly told the ins and outs of the matter to the puppeteer who called himself, Miss Puppet, and it was suspected that there was also the presence of the Mechanicus. After learning that Zhang Yuan was surrounded and attacked by a 16th level puppeteer, a 4th level psychic, a 4th level bloodthirsty berserker, a 4th level mage and a 3rd level assassin, not only was he unscathed, but he was also able to kill 4 of them. Li Mengju was shocked, with incomprehension written all over her pretty face. Compared to her, Zhang Wei was obviously much calmer. I have seen it just now. Zhang Wei said, the Church of Suffering and the Mechanicus, even they have taken action, and together with the Abyss Believers, this is troublesome. We can't just sit back and do nothing when it comes to them. We must check the passengers carefully again. Not only that, they can investigate his whereabouts. I am afraid that their people have been planted in our transportation system. Li Mengju looked grim. Zhang Yuan asked, I have heard of the Mechanicus, but this is the first time I have heard of the Church of Suffering. Are they troublesome? Troublesome? Very troublesome, Zhang Wei said in a heavy voice, different from the Abyss Believers. They are cunning and insidious, full of tricks, hiding in the dark. There are not many of them, but each of them is a mid to high level transferred warrior, and their strength is quite terrifying. The community massacre in Shashan City three years ago was their handiwork. They played with people's hearts and made 2,800 people in the community kill each other. In 10 days, 1,837 community residents died, and the rest of the people all had mental breakdowns and needed to live in a mental hospital for the rest of their lives. There are currently five registered members of the Church of Suffering, codenamed. For Evil Judge, Musician, Dead Punch, Miss Doll, Dr. Crow, each one is quite difficult. Our inspection department has been investigating them for a long time, but we still can't find any clues. Quote, be careful. Li Mengju looked at Zhang Yuan and said, anyone targeted by the Church of Suffering rarely has a good ending. Either they fall into the vortex of suffering and are swept by dangerous events one after another, or the people around them fall into the designed traps, leading to one tragic ending after another. They regard suffering as a delicacy, and will stand on a high place with red wine to taste the tragic life of others. They are such a group of despicable and mean guys. Zhang Yuan thought of what Miss Dahl said before she left, and couldn't help but worry about his parents and his aunt's family. He planned to let her and his father stop going to work after picking up his mother this time. If he doesn't change to a safe and secure place, he really can't rest assured. I will pay attention, quote, Zhang Yuan said, handing the girl Cao Xiaoyu who was still in a coma to Li Mengju, she was shocked by my spirit, which made her mentally unstable. Please send her to the hospital for treatment. Li Mengju nodded. Zhang Yuan looked at Zhang Wei. Captain Zhang Wei, those dead and injured. Zhang Wei scratched his head and said, This incident was also caused by our negligence. It is a great thing to be able to control the casualties to less than 10 people. Thanks to you, the next thing about the casualties compensation will be handed over to the inspection department. He patted Zhang Yuan on the shoulder and comforted him, Don't take the responsibility on yourself alone. It's not you who committed the crime, but the criminal. Li Mengju nodded. Zhang Yuan said nothing more. Li Mengju asked him the purpose of coming to Beijing City. When he learned that he was going to the first hospital, he said, I'll take you there. Zhang Wei also agreed, with a captain of the inspection department accompanying him, those crazy people should also think twice. Quote, Although Zhang Yuan felt that they had just experienced failure and would not attack him for the time being, since there was someone leading the way, and she was a mature beauty with an impressive figure, there was no need for him to refuse. Then I'll trouble Captain Lee. In an abandoned church in Nanjiang City, a man in a black tuxedo stood on the stage, his slender fingers falling on the air, 
as if he was playing an invisible piano gracefully, and there was really a sound of piano echoing. But it was not from the invisible piano, but from the bodies of dozens of boys and girls nailed to the wall. The air flow passed through their pierced throat bones, making an indescribable sound of the dead. In the first row below, there was an audience sitting quietly listening, stroking the judge's gavel in his hand. In the third row, there was a doctor wearing a crow mask. They were all invited to listen to this death concert. Of course, also waiting for a message. I'm back, quote. The crisp voice of a girl interrupted the performance of the concert. The girl in a red lolita skirt crawled out of a doll in the corner, and her figure changed from illusory to real. Welcome back, how is it? The judge-like man asked with a gentle and pleasant voice. Failed, he is much stronger than we thought. Really, it's expected. After all, he is the one who can make the king-level lord so angry. Even I heard the angry echo of Yin Lord that spread throughout the abyss. The evil judge laughed, it's just like a dragon whose beloved treasure was stolen by ants. If you can make him fall into despair, it must be a feast. The performer laughed. It must taste good. Just thinking about it makes me drool. The girl covered her mouth and said with a twisted smile, what should I do next? Do you want me to contact the people around him? No need. The evil judge looked at the crow-faced man in the third row and smiled, doctor, are you ready? Quote, it has already been completed. Then let's start our big show ahead of time. The weather was bad, but the weather was bad. On this day, Beijing City was covered with dark clouds and the sky was gloomy, as if it would rain heavily at any time. People were rushing around on the street. It seemed that because of the low air pressure, no one's face was happy and was shrouded in gloom. Beijing City First Hospital A car stopped. Zhang Yuan and Li Mengju, who had changed into daily clothes, got out of the car. This is the first hospital. Let's go. The two walked towards the hospital. A girl with a ponytail in school uniform walked out of the bakery on the side of the road holding a newly bought bread. She accidentally glanced at Zhang Yuan's back and was slightly stunned. His back looks a bit like the guy the first met in the dungeon. Pei Jia thought of the handsome boy she had only met once. She thought he was just an ordinary candidate, but she didn't expect him to be so powerful, so powerful that he was beyond imagination. He became a well-known national champion. As the two walked into the hospital, Pei Jia retracted her gaze. He is from Nanjiang number. One middle school. It shouldn't be him. He just looks a bit like him. If it is really him, then I have to thank him. Not only to thank him for the topaz honey, but also to thank him for protecting my sister in the final place. I heard from my sister that the reason why they were able to survive the incident was because of his existence. I wonder which university he will apply for. Pei Jia thought to herself. She and her sister have decided to go to Shenwu University. Although her score is not enough, considering the preferential treatment for geniuses, the admissions teacher of Shenwu University still agreed to admit her. If she and he apply for the same university, maybe there will be a chance to meet in the future. The hospital, which was shrouded by an invisible magic circle, was now overcrowded. Even the corridors were filled with beds. The nurses were in a hurry, their faces full of fatigue. Some young nurses had not rested for three consecutive days and nights, and could only rely on potions to replenish their energy. Looking at the scene in front of him, Zhang Yuan couldn't help but sigh in his heart. No wonder my mother always said she was busy, she was really busy and couldn't get away. Are there so many sick people in Beijing City? Zhang Yuan asked Li Mengju. Li Mengju frowned, this is the first time I've seen so many patients. Although there have been several explosions recently, the injured are all minor injuries and they should be cured soon. It seems a bit abnormal. Zhang Yuan said. Li Mengju nodded, I'll have someone investigate it carefully later. A man shouted angrily, why is it not my turn yet? I've been waiting for three hours. Yes, yes, why do you have to wait so long? Hurry up and get me admitted. The patients and nurses and doctors were clashing and shouting, the air was oppressive, and there was an indescribable irritability that was slowly fermenting and intensifying. Zhang Yuan passed by a child running in the corridor. He suddenly stopped and turned his head to look. Li Mengju, what's wrong? The thought that flashed through Zhang Yuan's mind suddenly disappeared, and he couldn't remember it. He shook his head, nothing, inside the nurse station. I, I'm dying. 
Nurse Sister Mo collapsed in a chair. Dao Chunru poured a medicine into her mouth, wiped the sweat from her forehead, and regained some spirit. Hold on a little longer. When this wave of wounded is over, we should be able to rest for a while. No, no, I feel I will die on the spot if I continue. No matter how much overtime pay you get, you have to live to spend it. Sister Mo said. Another nurse was also puzzled, it's really strange. How can so many people get sick collectively, and the cause is unknown, and the symptoms are particularly serious? It seems to have started a week ago. Recently, more and more people have come to the hospital. Recently, even professional warriors have come. Logically, they should rarely get sick. Could it be some kind of plague spreading? Sister Mo guessed. But Dr. Zhao has done the test. He is a doctor of a rare profession and is good at analyzing symptoms. Even he said it is not a plague, so it should not be. Dao Chunru smiled bitterly. That's poison, I don't think it's possible. Toxicology tests can definitely detect it, but now it seems that the patients are suffering from common diseases. But according to the latest examination, aren't their hearts and other organs aging rapidly? Even the healing technique used on them didn't work. No matter how effective it is, purification is useless. Quote. It's annoying. Xiao Zhang, the condition of patient number 749 has worsened. Head nurse, I'll be there right away. The young nurse said, dragging her tired body to push open the door of the nurse station, and saw a doctor standing at the door, with a familiar black-haired boy and a long-haired lady with sharp eyes and a fierce momentum standing behind him. Young nurse. Zhao, looking for a doctor. What's the matter? Dr. Zhao said. Xiao Zhang, this is Captain Li from the inspection department. I want to find Nurse Dao for something. Is she there? Inspection department. The young nurse looked at Li Mengju in surprise, yes, yes. She turned her head and shouted to the nurse station, Sister Dao, someone is looking for you. The door opened. See Dao Chunru's figure. Zhang Yuan smiled brightly and shouted. Mom. Dao Chunru was stunned when she saw Zhang Yuan, and said, Xiao Yuan. Why are you here? Didn't I send you a message saying I'm busy today and can't go back? Quote. I, Zhang Yuan hadn't said anything yet. There was a clang in the nurse's station, and a nurse's tray fell, smashing the medicine. She looked at Zhang Yuan in disbelief. Number one in the country. Isn't he the number one martial arts champion in the country? What? Several nurses, including Sister Mo, jumped up from their chairs. He, he is. The young nurse also stared at Zhang Yuan in a daze, and finally understood the source of the familiar feeling. It was from the photos on the internet. The black-haired boy in front of her was the national champion who caused heated discussions on the internet. Sister Mo was so shocked that her eyes almost popped out, and her dull eyes wandered back and forth between Zhang Yuan and Dao Chunru. Xiao, Xiao Dao. What did he call you? Mom, quote, yes, this is my son, Zhang Yuan. Dao Chunru introduced proudly. The nurses all gasped, as if struck by lightning. Sister Mo's computer crashed, and her brain went blank. She had ridiculed Dao Chunru several times before, relying on her son's awakened D-level talent, saying that his son was not as good as her own son. Although her own son did not get into Wuhan University, he could at least be a security guard in the future with his talent. She also called Dao Chunru and said that she could introduce a job to her son. She also thought that Dao Chunru had teased her about her son having the same name as the genius who ranked first in points. But that was really your son. Why didn't you say it earlier? We are all colleagues, isn't it good to be equal? How come your son suddenly became the top scholar in the country? That's the top scholar, a peerless monster that can only be produced once a year. You are an ordinary family, isn't it enough to get into a third-tier Wuhan University? Why can you produce a top scholar? I can't play with you like this. The more you look at the face, the more you feel tired. Not paying attention to other people's eyes, Zhang Yuan frowned when he saw the tiredness on Dao Chunru's face. Mom, you don't look very good. Didn't you take the tonic I bought for you? Mom has been too busy recently, so I forgot. How can this be possible? Zhang Yuan took out a life crystal from the void and crushed it in front of Dao Chunru. The rich and refreshing light green life breath entered Dao Chunru's body, instantly dispelling all fatigue, and her physical and mental strength returned to the best state. Even the wrinkles on her face became lighter, and she looked much younger instantly. 
What is this? Sister Mo couldn't believe it. She had never seen any treatment or potion with such amazing effects. Li Mengju is well informed and crossed his arms and said, This is a life crystal, which is usually only found in hidden dungeons. And this one is of intermediate level, and one is probably worth more than five million. Five, five million. Sister Mo and other nurses stared with wide eyes. They worked so hard, but their annual salary was only less than 200,000. Zhang Yuan casually spent the money they could earn in more than 20 years. You kid, even if you have money, you can't waste it like this. Dao Chunru said, feeling a little distressed, but more proud on her face. It's okay, I picked up hundreds of these things in the dungeon. Zhang Yuan's next words shocked everyone again. Li Mengju was stunned. Aren't hundreds too many? Are you going to take the college entrance examination or to purchase goods? Sister Mo and other nurses who were about the same age as Dao Chunru looked at Dao Chunru with envy and jealousy, and their tone was extremely bitter. Xiao Dao, no, Sister Dao, you are so blessed now. I really envy you for giving birth to such a good child, unlike me, I don't know what sin I did in my previous life to give birth to that useless thing in my family. Don't forget us old colleagues when you become rich. The young nurse came to Zhang Yuan, her cheeks flushed and her eyes moist, and said, my name is Zhang Ying, can you sign for me? Of course, thank you for taking care of my mother. No, no, it's better to say that Sister Dao takes care of me more. After getting Zhang Yuan's signature, she became more and more excited, and her legs under the nurse's uniform couldn't help but intertwine and rub. Um, are you free tonight? Li Mengju approached Zhang Yuan and teased, she seems to be very interested in you. I feel that she is the type of contrast who wears black stockings under her nurse's uniform. How about it? Do you like this one? Zhang Yuan was speechless. Boom. Suddenly, there was a loud noise outside the door, and a big hole was blasted in the wall. The nurses and patients screamed in fear. Li Mengju and Zhang Yuan looked over. I saw a fat, bloody, shield-class warrior who was madly pinching a doctor's neck and lifted him up in the air, holding a broken arm in his other hand. His eyes were bloodshot, and he screamed in a struggling manner. I've said I'm in pain, so uncomfortable, why doesn't anyone come to take care of me? Isn't your hospital there to save people? The doctor struggled to speak. But, but we checked you and everything is normal, there is no problem. Nonsense. I can clearly feel that something is gnawing at my internal organs and my skin, and it seems like something is trying to get out. I feel it very clearly. The man screamed and screamed, and his painful expression did not seem to be pretended. So I said you should see a psychiatrist. Ah, Li Mengju's slender right leg stepped on his back, his eyes were cold and sharp, and his powerful aura suppressed the fat man's whole body, making him unable to move at all. I am Li Mengju, the captain of the third team of the patrol department. You are suspected of attempted murder, violating Article 5 of the Law of the Transferred Warriors. You are not allowed to attack ordinary people. You are arrested. The fat man seemed to have regained some reason and begged bitterly, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't want to kill anyone, and I don't want to use violence. I, I don't know what's going on. I just feel too uncomfortable. Please, please save me. He lowered his head and gasped heavily, his chest pounding rapidly. The blood was abnormally agitated, and in the horrified eyes of the people around, a large mouthful of blood spurted out, almost dyeing a wall blood red. Puff, the nurse who was accidentally splashed reacted, her pupils shrank sharply, and she screamed shrilly. Ah, Zhang Yuan also keenly noticed that after the fat man spit out that mouthful of blood, his whole body's blood and chi instantly declined to the extreme. Same as the previous patient. Dao Chunru walked to Zhang Yuan's side, looking worried, the patient's examination was also normal, but he also said that he felt very uncomfortable, and the treatment skills and potions were useless, and he died soon. The young nurse said, compared to that auntie, he deteriorated faster. Could this really be some unknown infectious disease? Zhang Yuan's expression was slightly condensed, and he released his mental power to carefully check, penetrating the body of the fat warrior like an X-ray. Still no abnormality was found really strange. No, it's not good. The patient in Ward 749 also vomited blood. Number 832 is also vomiting blood. Number 648 is also. It was like a chain reaction. The patients got worse one after another. 
In the hall, some patients who were waiting in line for examination also showed symptoms similar to the fat warrior. They wailed and fell to the ground, crying out in pain. The hospital was in chaos. Even if several doctors opened the healing array that required a large amount of crystals to open, it would not work on them. It's indeed some unknown disease. If it was an injury, it should have been cured long ago. Dao Chunru said. Calm down, everyone calm down. A director of the hospital appeared. He was a fifth-level transferred physician and the highest-ranking person in the hospital except for the dean. Healing wind. As he used his skills, a series of light green recovery winds passed through the bodies of the patients, but it was useless. There was no other way, he could only use his skill. Calming wind. The wind with anesthetic and sedative effects blew, and the patients gradually calmed down. The nurses finally breathed a sigh of relief. After Li Mengju made a phone call, her brows furrowed even deeper. Zhang Yuan asked, what happened? Li Mengju, I just asked my subordinates, and similar situations have occurred in other hospitals. All the patients in all hospitals just felt unbearable pain, as if it was agreed. This can't be accidental. Someone may be controlling everything behind the scenes. The upper management also realized the seriousness of the situation and ordered me to start investigating now. She looked at the young nurse, when did the first patient appear? Can you please tell me from beginning to end? The nurses nodded. Zhang Yuan looked at Dao Chunru, Mom, let's go back. Dao Chunru was stunned and said, What are you talking about? Don't you see the current situation? If I leave, the staff will be even more insufficient. It's useless for you to stay. If it is an unknown disease caused by an unknown plague, then this is not something that nurses can handle. Zhang Yuan said in a serious tone, it's a disaster that will involve millions of people in several cities. The heavy rain in the sky is still falling, thunder and lightning roar, and the water of the Posuo River is running wildly. The doctor wearing a crow mask stood by the river, and the strange yellow and black substance flowed into the river along his feet. I am a genius who can combine the flesh and blood of the abyss monsters, the Yin Lord's curse and the disease. Unfortunately, the effect on the mid- and high-level transfer warriors is too poor and the lethality is insufficient. Those idiots have only discovered it now, but it is too late. The heavy rain will spread the cursed bacteria flowing into the river all over the city. Millions of people already have my cursed bacteria in their bodies. This is a curse, but also a blessing. It is my life's work as a plague master. He whispered. Its name is. Black Curse. The weather was very bad, but the weather was very bad. The invisible black curse germs spread in the Posuo River and spread to thousands of households in Beijing City and Nanjiang City during the heavy rain. Zhang Yuan knew nothing about this. He picked up Dao Chunru and took her back to her aunt's house in Nanjiang City. Her father Zhang Damu had also been transferred back to the city. The family of three welcomed a long-awaited reunion. Zhang Damu had been shocked once when he learned about the situation in the army, but when he saw Zhang Yuan again, he still couldn't believe it. You, are you really Xiao Yuan? The black-haired boy in front of him was more than half a head taller than his son in his impression. He had an upright figure and a more powerful aura than the commander of the army. He was completely different from before. Zhang Yuan smiled and said, Dad, what are you talking about? You can't even recognize your son. Dao Yufeng teased, I think your dad has become stupid after serving in the army. Dao Chunru touched Zhang Yuan's arm and sighed, It's not your dad's fault that he can't recognize you. I was also shocked when I saw him. The change is really huge. Look at this muscle, Yufeng, what did you feed him? Dao Yufeng and Mo Lingfeng looked at each other and smiled bitterly, We really didn't do anything. Xiao Yuan can be where he is today, it's really the result of his own hard work. It's true that he worked hard. It's just the result of hard work. Zhang Yuan thought to himself. Brother Yuan, are you better than our teacher now? Mo Shishi asked while hanging on Zhang Yuan's arm. I don't know. What realm is your teacher at? Level 4. Then I should be stronger. Mo Shishi became more excited and excited after hearing this. Awesome, so awesome. Level 4. Zhang Damu couldn't help swallowing his saliva. He was probably the only one among the few people who knew the strength of the level 4 transfer warriors. Level 4 transfer warriors are already considered middle level, enough to enter the upper edge of society. 
Just relying on the badge of level 4 warriors, they can receive a monthly subsidy of 50,000 yuan from the Warrior Association. If they join the army, they can serve as the leader of a 100-man team. Some guilds can even offer an annual salary of 5 million to recruit level 4 transfer warriors. For such a strong man, he has always been able to look up to and be in awe of him. He doesn't even have the qualifications to establish a relationship with him. And now, his son, at the age of 17, has actually reached this level. Thinking of this, Zhang Damu couldn't help but tremble with excitement, as if he had drunk fake wine, his legs were weak, and he couldn't even walk straight. It took a long time. He finally came to his senses and grinned. Ha, ha ha ha, may our ancestors bless us, our Zhang family has also produced a genius, and he is the son of Zhang Damu. Ha ha ha, the family ate a reunion dinner with laughter. The ingredients were all some of the beast meat left by Zhang Yuan. It tasted great and contained a lot of nutrition. The atmosphere at the dinner table was harmonious and warm. Mo Shishi was startled and fascinated by Zhang Yuan's description of the beasts in the dungeon. Father Zhang was full of emotion. Mother Zhang secretly wiped away her tears. On the one hand, she was proud of her son. On the other hand, she regretted that she could not witness her son's growth with her own eyes and felt guilty for not being able to accompany him. Fortunately, everything is fine now. Dad, Mom, I plan to apply for Shenwu University. Zhang Yuan told his blood relatives in front of him that he planned to go to Shenwu University. Of course, Yang's father and mother had no objection. Even among the four top universities, Shenwu University is one of the top universities. But when they heard Zhang Yuan say that he hoped that they and his aunt's family could go to the imperial capital with him. The two hesitated, your mother and I are not very capable. Going to the imperial capital with you will only hinder you. Yes, and I still have work to do. Sister, brother-in-law, your safety is not guaranteed if you stay here, which is the real hindrance to Xiaoyuan and makes him worry. Dao Yufeng said. Besides, after a lifetime of hard work, now that the child has a promising future, it's time to enjoy the happiness. Yang's father and mother were a little entangled. Mo Lingfeng also said. In fact, some strange things have happened around us recently. If it weren't for the protection of the patrol department, I'm afraid our family would have been attacked a long time ago. What if you are caught by the villains one day and used to threaten Xiaoyuan? This is really not a joke. Mother Yang's face changed slightly, and Father Zhang also became a little shaken. Zhang Yuan finally told about the incident on the sky track. After learning about such a thrilling situation, Father Zhang and Mother Zhang were shocked, their faces. His face suddenly turned pale and he finally stopped insisting and agreed to quit his job and go to the imperial capital together. That afternoon, Yun Zai, deputy director of the Education Bureau, visited in person and brought a series of rewards such as combat-ready air shuttles and advanced scrolls. It was the first time that Yang's father and mother had seen such a big shot as the deputy director of the Provincial Education Bureau. They were so scared that they didn't even dare to sit down. The air shuttle, which was more than 20 meters long, black in color, and extremely cool in shape, stopped silently above the roof, attracting residents of the community to stop and watch downstairs and take crazy photos. Oh my god, what kind of shuttle is this? It's so cool. I've never seen it on the market. That building seems to be the one that produced the top scholar in the country, right? Could it be a reward from the Education Bureau? Oh my god, a shuttle worth hundreds of millions is given away just like that. I'm so jealous. Stop talking, I'm going home to beat my son now. Combat Ready Shuttle, Black Crow, 26.66 meters long, 8.43 meters wide, equipped with a level 3 destructive beam, powerful enough to kill a level 6 beast, with a maximum speed of 3000 meters per second, made of high-grade alloy, flying out of the stratosphere is no problem, and it is also equipped with a top-level defense shield that can withstand a blow from a level 9 beast, and is also equipped with invisibility, avoid detection, etc. Dot dot, this is the operating crystal. After leaving your DNA on it, this shuttle will be yours. Yun Zai smiled and handed over the crystal. Thank you, Deputy Director Yun. Zhang Yuan thanked him and dripped blood on the crystal. Countless streams of light instantly lit up along the complex texture lines on the dark air shuttle on the roof. 
Zhang Yuan also had a sense of it, and the next second the intelligent voice of AI rang in his ears. Ding. DNA binding successful. Hello, Master, Black Crow Assistant Xiao He is at your service. May I ask what instructions you have? Zhang Yuan looked at Yun Zai This air shuttle is specially built by the country for top talents. It can be driven automatically or remotely started by thought. As long as it is not more than 10,000 meters away, you can make it come to you immediately with just a thought. Yun Zai smiled. So convenient, Zhang Yuan was a little surprised. The biggest problem with the air shuttle is that it cannot be stored in the system warehouse and cannot be carried with you, but if it can be summoned with thoughts, it would be very convenient. These are 10 high-level tonics and 10 high-level scrolls, as well as a bank card with 30 million yuan. You can use them at your own discretion. After Yun Zai gave the things away, he looked at Zhang Yuan and smiled, Student Zhang Yuan, Director Bai is very optimistic about you. I hope you will keep up the good work and don't let him down. Thank you Director Bai, I will. Deputy Director Yun, have some tea. Dao Chunru brought the tea. Yun Zai thanked him and took a sip, praising, very good tea. Yang's mother immediately showed a relaxed smile on her face. It's getting late, so I'll leave first. I have to go to the other candidates. By the way, student Zhang Yuan, have you considered which Wuhan University to go to? If nothing goes wrong, it should be Shen Wu. Shen Wu, not bad, not bad. I heard that most of the top scorers in other provinces also chose Shen Wu this year. You should be able to meet some interesting opponents after you enter the school. Yun Zai smiled. Before leaving, Yun Zai said something to Zhang Yuan, or rather, an entrustment. I've heard about what happened on the sky track. You did a great job, but you still have to be careful. This is also your first lesson after leaving school. No one can protect you forever, and no one will remember a dead genius, no matter how dazzling he was. The two of them were in a state of panic, and the two were in a state of panic. Soon after Yun Zai left, Zhang Yuan was familiar with the operation of the Black Crow shuttle. He set the AI Black Cat on his watch as the intelligent eye on the shuttle, and let it control the shuttle to fly to the clouds 10,000 meters above the community. Using the anti-gravity device to float there, invisible, the energy consumed is minimal. Yang's father and mother have not recovered from the shock brought by Yun Zai. Yan Runin, who had agreed with Zhang Yuan in advance, came to disturb him with a middle-aged woman. She was the admissions teacher of Shenwu University, named Liu Shangxia, a seventh-level transfer warrior. This time, they came to discuss the relevant matters of Zhang Yuan's admission to Shenwu University. The first is the benefits of admission. Although we are not as wealthy as Xinghai University, we will definitely not be stingy with the top scholar in the country. Liu Shangxia smiled, don't worry about this. Three four-star quality body refining materials, one five-star quality shenshu grass that can permanently increase mental power. A dark gold level exclusive weapon and a top grade gem that can upgrade a gold weapon to dark gold quality with any attribute you want. Ten high level scrolls. 50 million in cash and a scholarship of 10 million per year. And one chance to enter the Shenwu ruins. In addition, as long as Shenwu University is not breached, I can guarantee that your parents and your aunt's family will never be in danger. Safety can be guaranteed, and your cousin can also get good educational resources. This admission reward is not to be underestimated, and it can be said to be full of sincerity. Yang's father and mother were stunned and swallowed their saliva. Not to mention the four-star body refining materials, the one-star body refining materials alone start at 200,000, and the five-star rated Shenshu grass that can permanently increase mental power is even more expensive. Such resources can even turn a pig into a professional warrior. It has to be said that the preferential treatment given to geniuses in a world where the strong or respected is unimaginable for ordinary people, let alone the first place that has fought out of countless geniuses. It is no different from ascending to heaven in one step. In addition to these, you can also gain a treasure by joining Shenwu University. Yan Runin said. Liu Shangxia looked at her in astonishment. Zhang Yuan asked, What? Yan Runin pointed at herself and said proudly, A beautiful senior sister. Zhang Yuan, Liu Shangxia, isn't it good? The two sides quickly reached a consensus and completed the admission ceremony happily. After the admission notice was signed, 
Liu Shangxia handed Zhang Yuan a golden card with a great feel and a badge with a sword mark, and said with a smile. This is the student card and identification badge of Shenwu University. DNA and information have been entered. Only with the student card can you freely enter and exit the barrier of Shenwu University. In addition, your level is the highest SSS level. A high-level protection array is applied to the badge, which is equivalent to a dark gold level defensive accessory. It can withstand the full force of a 7th level transfer warrior at most. The admission bonus will be credited to your card soon. As for other equipment and materials, they will be handed over to you by a special person after you enter the school. Zhang Yuan nodded and put away the student card and badge. The admission date of Shenwu University is one month later, please don't be late. After Liu Shangxia said this, she left with satisfaction. Yan Runan also successfully obtained 100 credits. She smiled brightly and was in a good mood. She patted Zhang Yuan on the shoulder and shouted, Junior, to celebrate your admission, how about I treat you to a meal? Just tell me what you want to eat. Okay, I haven't eaten at Zizhushuan for a long time. It just so happens that Shishi's get out of class is about to end, so I'll take her with me. Zhang Yuan smiled. No, I just said it casually. Are you really going? Why, senior sister, can't you afford it? How, how is it possible? It's just a small Zizhushuan. Just go. Before leaving, Zhang Yuan's mobile phone rang, and the bank card prompted that 50 million had been credited. Today, 80 million in cash alone was credited, and there were also 30 million worth of resources from Wudao number. One middle school, and the materials that Ji Feiyui helped to sell had not yet been credited. After transferring 10 million to his parents, excluding equipment, materials, props, etc., Zhang Yuan now has a net cash of 230 million in his bank card. Merit points 6157. Dungeon points 1323. It looks like a lot. Actually, it is a lot. Generally, a mid-level transfer warrior of level 4 or 5 cannot accumulate so much money in his lifetime. But for high level, for a professional warrior who has just changed his job, this money is nothing. After all, an epic equipment is worth more than 1 billion. Legendary equipment is worth more than 10 billion, and it is in short supply and extremely rare. Only some kings, or quasi-kings with extraordinary talents and top families can own it. Most of the money in the world is always in the hands of a very small number of people. This sentence is true no matter in which world. Mom, Dad, I won't be back for dinner tonight. After saying this, Zhang Yuan closed the door and left with Yan Runin. Father and mother Zhang looked at the money in their mobile phones and couldn't come back to their senses for a long time. The two of them were so shocked that they were stunned. Ignoring her bestie who was so shocked that she stuttered. Mo Shishi asked, Sister Yan, Brother Yuan, why are you here? Your sister Yan said she wanted to treat us to a meal, so she came to pick you up. She is. Zhang Yuan looked at Xu Qing. My name is Xu Qing, and I'm Shishi's classmate. Xu Qing stood in front of Zhang Yuan, unable to hide her excitement, her pretty face flushed, and her eyes looking up at him were full of excitement, admiration, and awe. Oh, I heard her talk about you. Thank you for taking care of my silly sister. Zhang Yuan smiled gently. Mo Shishi. Hey, I'm not stupid, okay. She was angry, her face was as cute as a pufferfish, and the haze on her face was swept away by the appearance of Zhang Yuan and Yan Runan. I've heard of me. Xu Qing on the side seemed to be hit by a huge gift bag, and incomparable joy bloomed in his heart. The world in front of him seemed to become brighter, and the whole person was trembling with excitement. That Zhang Shen has heard of me, heard of me. Hey, he he he. She was like a drunk, getting drunk, and kept laughing. Mo Shishi couldn't help shaking her head, feeling deeply that her best friend was not doing well. Yan Runin approached Zhang Yuan. Congratulations, you have gained another little fan girl. Her breath was like orchid, and the fragrance was as mysterious as the feeling she gave people. Ignored her. Zhang Yuan looked at Mo Shishi and asked, Where is the headband I gave you? Mo Shishi's face changed slightly. I, I accidentally lost it. It shouldn't be lost, I see you are not in a stable state, as if you just fought with someone, did something happen? Zhang Yuan's eyes were as sharp as lightning, extremely sharp. No, nothing. Mo Shishi looked away with a guilty conscience. 
Shu Qing came back to her senses and said indignantly, Shi Shi, why don't you say it? It's obviously that guy's fault. She is just looking for trouble, saying that she is sparring, but she deliberately broke your most precious headband. Ching Ching, don't say it. Mo Shi Shi grabbed Shu Qing, trying to stop her from continuing. Zhang Yuan looked at Shu Qing and said, She is. In front of her bestie and idol, Shu Qing betrayed her bestie without even a second of hesitation. She is Sha Qinghu's sister, Sha Lin, and she is the top student in the first grade of high school. I heard that her qi and blood have broken through seven. She is very strong but arrogant and overbearing. She leads her sisters to bully others in school. Most people in the school don't like her, but they are afraid of the background of the Sha family behind her. She especially admires her elder brother, so she especially hates people saying that her elder brother is not as good as others. Today, during the public martial arts class, she got angry because she heard Shishi talking about you to us. She brought people to find Shishi and said she wanted to exchange martial arts, but that was not a martial arts exchange at all. It was obvious that she was relying on her strength to beat Shishi unilaterally. The teacher did not stop it. In the end, Shishi lay in the medical room for an afternoon, and even her most precious hairband was deliberately broken by her. Shu Qing said indignantly. Yan Runin said softly, although it was a minor fight between students, it was a bit too much. Zhang Yuan looked at Mo Shishi, why did you hide it? Mo Shishi bit her lip and said sullenly, I don't want to cause you trouble. I was bullied this time. I'll get back at you next time when I become stronger. Zhang Yuan rubbed her head and scolded her with a smile, silly girl. You were bullied but you didn't tell me. Do you think I'm your brother and I'm just a decoration? Mo Shishi, who had been pretending to be strong, felt the grievance of being bullied at this moment. Her beautiful big eyes were covered with mist and her nose was red. Brother Yuan, I'm sorry, I broke the hairband you gave me. Her voice twitched, as if she would cry uncontrollably in the next second. Compared with the pain of being beaten, she was more sad and upset that the hairband was broken. It's okay, I'll give you a better one later. But that was the first gift you gave me. Mo Shishi wiped her eyes, pouted, and felt wronged. Yan Runin walked up to her, don't worry, it can be fixed. Really, I promise, don't cry after it's fixed, sister will take you to a big meal. Yan Runin wiped the tears from her face and said with a gentle smile. Zhang Yuan looked at the teaching building and said calmly, Senior Sister Yan, take Shishi first, I'll come later. Brother Yuan, what are you doing? Don't do anything stupid, I'm fine. Mo Shishi said in a panic. At this moment, Zhang Yuan gave her an indescribable feeling. It felt like a volcano about to erupt. Zhang Yuan turned his head and gave her a reassuring smile, don't worry, I'm always reasonable. Ching Ching, can you accompany me for a while? Of course, Xu Ching was extremely excited. Yan Runin took Mo Shishi out of the school. Mo Shishi was still worried and asked, Sister Yan, should it be okay? Yan Runin smiled and said, what can happen? Don't worry. Having said that, but it was the first time that Yan Runin saw Zhang Yuan so angry. Could that guy be a hidden sister control? It felt like there would be a lot of noise. The two of them were so busy that they had to work together. Zhang Yuan led Xu Qing into the school. What's the name of that teacher? Zhang Yuan asked Xu Qing. Xu Qing was stunned for a moment and said, his name is Lu Jinfang, and he is our martial arts teacher. Zhang Yuan nodded, Lu Jinfang, right. Xu Qing vaguely guessed what Zhang Yuan wanted to do, and lowered his voice to remind him, he is a fourth level transfer warrior. It's the same, if you do something wrong, you have to pay the price. Zhang Yuan said calmly. Xu Qing looked at his handsome profile and indifferent expression, and listened to his calm words. His heart beat at a speed of 180 beats per second, and it was almost jumping out of his chest. Handsome, so handsome, even a fourth-level transfer warrior is not taken seriously. Is this the confidence of the national champion of the martial arts college entrance examination? Mom, your daughter has died without regrets now. The two walked on the way to the martial arts classroom. Some students who had not left after school saw Zhang Yuan, and were stunned at first, and then rubbed their eyes. After finding out that it was not an illusion, the students opened their mouths one by one, unable to believe. Is that Zhang Shen? Am I seeing it right? What what? It's really Zhang Shen. Zhang Shen came to our no. 
Free middle school. Is it true? As I dreaming, the news spread from 1 to 10, and from 10 to 100. In less than a moment, a large group of first and second year high school students, and even teachers, ran over. They all wanted to see this legendary national champion with their own eyes. In the Kudo Club, a beautiful girl with a purple hairband tied up her high ponytail held a large bow, pulled the bowstring to its full length, and let go of it calmly. Swish, accompanied by a whistling sound. An arrow turned into a white stream of light and flew out, piercing an iron target a hundred meters away and nailing it firmly into the wall. Pa 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 pa, several female members applauded in unison, their eyes full of admiration. Ten consecutive arrows were shot without missing a target, so accurate. The power is also quite amazing. You are worthy of being senior sister Chen Zi. You can use the E-level alloy bow to this extent and burst out such power. Senior sister, your blood and chi should be about to break ten, right? The high ponytail beauty named Chen Zi also showed a smile on her face, it's still a little short, but it should be soon. Too amazing, the female member exclaimed. Chen Zi shook her head, that's nothing. The really powerful one is still senior Zhang Yuan. Thinking of the battle she saw at the Thunder Martial Arts School, she couldn't help but show a trace of admiration in her beautiful eyes. If you see him take action, you will know what a true genius looks like. Powerful, perfect, mysterious, and crushing the enemy with the attitude of an absolute strong man, that is the real power. A female member sighed. For us, Senior Chen Zi is already powerful enough. We really can't imagine how powerful Zhang Shen is. Yes, although there is only a few years difference, he feels like a person from another world, no different from the legend. If I can see him in person, I will be satisfied enough. Several female students in the first and second grade sighed. Chen Zi smiled and said, there will definitely be a chance. Let's not talk about this. Let's shoot arrows a hundred times. Don't you also want to become a powerful archer? You can't do it without hard training. Yes, just as several people were preparing for the next round of training. The door of the Kudo Club was suddenly opened. A girl panted and said, Chen Zi, hurry, go to the martial arts classroom. Ayu, what's wrong? Chen Zi asked in confusion. Zhang, Zhang Shen has come to our school and is now in the public martial arts classroom. Well, many people have gone there. What did you say? Chen Zi stood up suddenly. Several other female members also covered their mouths in shock. I'm not lying to you. Really, go quickly, don't you want to see him again? If it's too late, you can see him. Before she finished her words, a fragrant breeze blew past her. Chen Zi didn't even wear shoes, she ran wildly in the corridor in white socks, all the way to the public martial arts classroom as big as an indoor football stadium. At this moment, the surrounding area was already full of students and teachers. Who is it? Don't push me. Get out of the way. Oh, it's senior Chen Zi. Sorry, sorry. Chen Zi squeezed through the crowd and came to the front row, looking closely. A man in black, a handsome boy in black pants, tall and straight, black hair and golden eyes stood in the center of the venue. His calm expression exuded a faint pressure that made people palpitate. His aura was like an abyss, mysterious and transcendent. Chen Zi looked at him infatuatedly. The classmates around him seemed to have disappeared from the world, and only the boy was shining with thousands of lights. It's really him. It's really God Zhang. This aura, I'm almost breathless from such a distance. How strong is he? I heard that he is already at the second level. The students talked excitedly, their eyes full of excitement and admiration. Only a girl with a beautiful face, white skin, and proud eyes stood in the front row, hugging her arms and looking at Zhang Yuan, her pretty face gloomy. He is Zhang Yuan, humph, except for his good-looking face, I can't see how he is better than the eldest brother. Why can he be the first? Quiet, quiet, the dean of Wudao number. Three middle school appeared, he was a bald man with a five-level shield. He first scolded the excited students around him, then walked up and said to Zhang Yuan with a shy smile. Zhang, Zhang Yuan, welcome to our Wudao number. Three middle school. May I ask why you came to our school? I came to pick up my sister, but she seems to have been bullied here. Zhang Yuan said lightly. The dean was stunned, sister. Your sister is. Xu Qing said beside Zhang Yuan, God Zhang, is she Shaolin? 
Zhang Yuan looked at the curly-haired girl in the front row whose eyebrows could not hide her pride. It's you. The moment she was stared at by those cold golden eyes, Sha Lin's face suddenly turned pale. The two of them were so excited that they had to face each other. Are you Sha Lin? The eyes of everyone around fell on Sha Lin. She said with all her might. I am, I am, what's wrong? Mo Shishi is my cousin, and she seems to have received a lot of care from you. Zhang Yuan said calmly. But his words were shocking. The students were shocked. Mo Shishi, the first grade school beauty Mo. I seem to have heard her say that she has a cousin with the surname Zhang. Oh my god, Zhang Shen is actually her brother. Mo Shishi's classmates were stunned by the shock. Several female classmates who played well with her were even more shocked and dizzy, and their scalps were numb. Didn't Mo Shishi's cousin awaken an E-level talent? How could it be Zhang Shen? She hid it too deeply, didn't she? Chen Zi was also stunned when she heard the words, thinking of the cute and pure-looking, lively and likable junior sister, who she had taught her martial arts skills before, but she didn't expect that she was Zhang Yuan's sister. Sha Lin was also surprised when she heard the words, she didn't expect that the little girl she taught in the afternoon would be Zhang Yuan's sister. Although she was a little flustered, she still insisted. Oh, so you are here to support her. I did hit her, but it was just a martial arts exchange. I was merciful and taught her martial arts deficiencies. She should thank me. Don't you think so? She looked at the two followers beside her. The two female followers turned green and stammered and couldn't say a word. Normally, it was fine to follow Sha Lin to bully ordinary students, but this time, the one he faced was the top student in the country, a super monster that even the director of the Provincial Education Bureau personally showed up. Miss Sha, can you not be so big-breasted and brainless? You are not afraid of death, but we are. Oh, is that so? Teach me martial arts. Zhang Yuan's voice was drawn out, and his tone was distant. Teaching martial arts will make people lie in the infirmary for an afternoon, and even a rare grade ornament was broken. It seems that you are really generous with your teachings. I want to thank you for my cousin. The students' eyes changed when they heard Sha Lin's words. Some were disgusted, some were gloating, and some were watching the show. The Dean of Academic Affairs finally understood the ins and outs of the matter when he heard this, and looked at Sha Lin as if he was looking at the plague god. Seeing the eyes of the people around her and realizing that she was in a bad situation, Sha Lin argued, I, I didn't mean it. At most, I can compensate her with one. A rare ornament is nothing, but since you are kind enough to help teach me martial arts, I will also teach you martial arts. Zhang Yuan said, taking a step towards Sha Lin. In Sha Lin's eyes, a pair of golden pupils opened their eyes like an ancient evil dragon from the abyss. The surging pressure instantly crushed her self-esteem and pride, making her legs soft and kneeling on the ground. Her face turned pale as paper, and her pupils trembled with fear. Horrible, terrible, how can there be such a terrible person in the world? The whole audience was silent. Zhang Yuan stood in front of her, looking down at her, and said lightly. I won't bully the weak. I'll give you a chance and call Sha Qinghu. Hearing the three words Sha Qinghu, it seemed to give Sha Lin some strength. She raised her head from her fearful trembling, stared at Zhang Yuan, and shouted stubbornly. Scream, scream, I don't believe that my elder brother will lose to you. Just wait and see what happens to me. Zhang Yuan smiled and said, really? Then wait and see. The dean sighed inwardly. This young lady really doesn't know how high the sky is and how deep the earth is. She still thinks that Zhang Yuan's first place is just luck. She is too blindly arrogant. The Sha family is one of the best families in Nanjiang City, but what is it in the whole country? The one in front of you is the pride of the top wealthy families in the country, and won the first place with an absolute advantage. Sha Qinghu is not even worthy of carrying his shoes. When Sha Lin dialed the number to call people, Zhang Yuan asked the dean, who is Lu Jinfang? The dean was stunned, and then looked at a man with a short haircut wearing a tight vest and a strong body in the crowd. The man with a short haircut was also stunned. I'm Lu Jinfang, a martial arts teacher who teaches public martial arts. What's wrong? I heard that you were there when she taught my sister martial arts, but you watched it with your own eyes and didn't stop it. The dean's eyes narrowed, Teacher Lu, is that so? The man with a short haircut panicked, I, I was. I was afraid of the family behind her, 
so I chose to turn a blind eye, just because there is. People like you dare to bully classmates all the time. Are you qualified to be a teacher? Quote. Zhang Yuan's tone was calm but full of anger. He flashed and came to the man with a short haircut in an instant, slapping him. The man with a short haircut didn't even see his movements clearly. He felt the evil wind coming and instinctively released his talent. B-level talent spiritual turtle power. The light blue talent power turned into a turtle shell barrier that enveloped the body. But it was shattered by a palm the next second. There was no time to be shocked. The half second gained by the turtle shell allowed the man with a short haircut to mobilize the blood and chi in his body and perform three-star defensive martial arts. Iron armor is indestructible. The blood and chi condense on the body surface to form a defensive armor comparable to steel. A fourth-level transfer warrior can use it to block fourth-level spells and skills, and rocket bombing cannot leave any traces. But in front of Zhang Yuan's angry palm, the so-called indestructible iron armor was like thin paper and was directly torn and shattered. Snap. Quote. A slap wrapped in golden ripples hit Lu Jinfeng's face hard, and the force burst out, almost knocking his head off, his neck was stretched, his face was distorted, and the whole person flew out like a cannonball. Bang. With a loud bang, the wall collapsed. The students didn't even see what happened. It only took a blink of an eye. Zhang Yuan stood where Lu Jinfeng was, and Lu Jinfeng's head was inserted into the wall dozens of meters away, leaving a straight dent on the ground between the two. After a short silence, everyone realized what happened, and the sound of sucking in cold air came one after another. Hiss. Hiss. Am I seeing it right? The fourth-level teacher Lu was slapped away. Oh my god. This, I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.